Yo, what's up, everybody? Oh, my goodness. What a stream <laughs> this is going to be. This is a very, very special stream because I am joined by a very special person, and his name is Peter France, everybody. What is going <gasps> what's on, dude? What's up, son? Dude, it is good to be here. I'm excited to dig my fingers into some Studio Ghibli renders and make a make a sweet scene. Thanks for having me, man. Yeah, dude, absolutely. Um, so hey, can you guys hear us? Can you see us? Okay, just give me some like thumbs ups in the chat so we know that we're all good. Yeah, um, this was quite an ordeal to it, set up. Yeah, it was. We were like, oh man, yeah, maybe we could like figure it out. Uh, like last night, but then we were up so late working on the Star Wars thing. <laughs> um that like mm -hmm. we're like oh man we're so tired so we woke up this morning there's always so much to do on the morning of a stream it's crazy we're but we're getting yeah. thumbs ups right now we got the live chat popping off uh um, hell yeah yeah got the dude. coffee got the live stream we're good to go yeah all right so what are we what are we doing today dude what are we gonna do dude that's a good question i i what we're gonna do is studio ghibli render yeah because these movies are lovely and Insight. beautiful but I, I personally don't know which Studio Ghibli movie or which scene I'm going to do. So I got to look at some reference to figure that out. For sure. Do you have stuff pulled up right now? Yeah, I got like some YouTube comps, some compilations going. All right, here, I'm going to switch over to you. So I'm looking at your All blender right. right now. Yeah, there you go. Sweet. Sweet. Dude, this stuff is nuts. I could just spend these three hours. Oh, my God, dude. Just watching this. Ugh, that looks so nice. It's amazing. Mm. It's like not okay. Yeah, it's like their stuff is so painterly, and I'm like to do it in 3D and to do it like all for real would just kind of like water <laughs> it down, you know? I know, yeah. It would just like make it look real. Yeah, but I don't know. Maybe we can figure something out. Um, no, totally. I mean, oh, god damn. What are you <laughs> thinking about? Do you have do you have a movie or a scene in mind? Yeah. So here, um, let's see. Damn. All right. So. I got a bunch of images here pulled from like back when I was working at Rocket Jump, I like pulled a bunch of images from oh, nice. a bunch of movies and the Ghibli ones were definitely one of those. Um those look so, great. I'm I'm looking at the stream right here. Oh heck yeah. So I got the like panorama ones going, like these big ones. Oh nice. Oh dang. Yeah. That's amazing. Oh my goodness. Where'd you get these images? I just pulled them from the movie. Yeah, I just like print wow. screen and then went into Photoshop and just pasted them in. <laughs> That's amazing. Those are beautiful. Yeah, they're freaking sick, man. So I don't know. Oh I, I want to. What's up? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> so I don't know, dude. I want to like, I want to, I want to do all of these. <laughs> they're all so nice. <laughs> I think we have time. We can spend a few days on the stream. Yeah, absolutely. We'll just do a 24 hour Ghibli stream, dude. It'd be craziness. Yeah. <laughs> um, It'd be cool oh to God. do like this robot with the grass on him. Oh man. That could be sick. Looks like freaking Iron Giant, dude. Straight up. Yeah. Or I was thinking about these. That would be beautiful. These are from Castle in the Sky. Uh It's hard because I want to pick one that's like really complex and has a lot going on, but I I I've learned that lesson too many times. Got to For sure. Got to pick an attainable goal. What about there's this one of the bathhouse it's like, mm -hmm. like the daytime main one. No, it's like a night, rainy nighttime one. I'm trying to find it. Oh yeah, I was looking at that one. Where the heck is it? It's like here. You have it on your side. Somewhere, yeah. Let's see. I'm going to you. Is it uh, this one? Very similar. It's not that one. It's like, it's like a random shot in the middle of like. The middle of the movie. It's like a transition shot or something. Damn. I'm trying to find it. Yeah, you keep looking. I'm on I'm on you right now. Alright. Um Oh I found this it. This one's really it. nice. Oh, you got it? Yeah, dude, that is beautiful though. Oh my god. It's it's ridiculous. Alright, this one. Um right here. You see that? It's like rainy. Oh, oh. Dude, you should do that one. Okay. I'm I feel like one. that's your vibe. I'm going to do this one. Yeah, I'm doing this one for sure. <laughs> awesome. All right, so I'm going back to you. You got to figure out what the heck you're going to do. Because we only yeah. have like, we got like two hours to work on this, you know. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> you know, I love these daytime, like blue sky shots with lots of green. That's really calling my name. So I'm going to find one of those. Okay, cool. Heck yeah. 
Um, so real quick shout outs to Christian. Thank you for the super chat. And also Josh said so he's Josh is like, pop off sons. So I'm like, heck yeah, I'm about to pop <laughs> off, dude. Thanks y'all. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, so once you get your scene chosen here, um, we, uh, actually here, how about this? How about this? This, uh, we got a sponsor today on today's stream. So while the sponsor's going, Peter, go ahead and choose your scene, and then uh, we'll be back in like two to three minutes, and we'll hop right into these renders, guys. So uh, so stay tuned. Hell yeah. Yeah, back in two minutes. Let's do it. Today's stream is brought to you by Vagon.io. Vagon provides you with a number of computers at different tech specs to access from anywhere in the world. So Vagon's a bit different from other remote access companies that allow you to tap into your personal supercomputer. What if you don't have a personal supercomputer? And that's exactly where Vagon comes in. So let me give you guys a brief rundown on how this works. So once you guys log in, you'll be presented with your dashboard. Here you can check your connection, tweak some other settings here, but most importantly, you can actually choose your tech specs. So let's start with Planet. We got four cores, 16 gigabytes on the GPU, and 16 gigs of RAM. We'll save that and we'll run the computer. Boom, and we're in. This computer is a blank computer. Obviously, I mean, it comes with a couple things pre-installed here, but this computer is yours and yours alone to download and install whatever the heck you guys want. You are the only one with access to your personal Vagon computer. So I know we got a lot of Blender fans here on the channel, so I'm gonna use Vagon's file transfer option to drag and drop a Blender scene from my personal computer to our new Vagon computer. All right, there we go. Let's let's open this bad boy up. So even on Vagon's cheapest computer, it's actually not that bad. We're in like render view here. Um, we could sit here, we could render this, but what if we actually wanted to render it on a more powerful computer, on a computer that renders things faster? Let's see what that would look like. So I'm gonna go ahead and log off of this computer and change our computer to Galaxy. This is 48 cores four 16 gigabyte GPUs and 192 gigabytes of RAM. We'll save and we'll run the computer. And we're back in. So this is actually an entire other computer, but it has the files that we dragged and dropped onto the original. Let's go ahead and open it up. And we'll hit F12 and get this render going. So what's cool about this is you can actually render this on your Vagon computer while you continue to work on your personal computer at home. So I'll just go ahead and log out and let this render while we continue working. So Vagan is here to provide you guys with additional computing power for your projects. And if you want to get into 3D but don't have a supercomputer yet, this might be a good way to get started. So guys, head on over to Vagan.io and get your renders going. All right. Heck yeah. Good stuff. Very good stuff. All righty. Um, that, was, that was a great brand segment, my dude. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, that was actually cool, man. I got this whole, like, I'm, I'm figuring out the stream situation, you know, um, making it more professional. You're it's killing feeling it. good. Um, yeah, Vegan, they're, they're super chill, been awesome to work with. So uh, shout outs Hell for yeah. sure. Give them a shout. And uh, Peter, do you have your scene? Do you have, do you have what you're going to do? I have my freaking scene. I do. Here, right, let, me, here. let me pull it up. Yeah, I'm going to you. Ooh, All right. Oh, son. So here's a really low res screenshot. But I'm going to do this scene, I believe, is this from freaking Princess Mononoke? I am very unfamiliar with these movies. I've seen, like, half of them. Oh, for sure. Do you know which movie this is from? I don't. It, like, I, it's definitely not from Princess Mononoke. This might be from, like, The Secret World of Arietti or something. Oh, um, okay. There's a couple that his, um, his son did that oh, I wow. heard were, like, not as good. Um, so oh. I kind of didn't watch them. <laughs> but I totally should. Yeah, it's from Arietti. We got it. <laughs> Yeah, it's from Arity, okay. confirmed. Gotcha. Yeah, I mean, honestly, regardless of the movie it's from, it's it's gorgeous, and so I'm gonna do this one. You gotta it's get just those gonna be Mega rays. Scan City. Yeah, <laughs> gotta get the gut rays. All right, so you'll do that one, and I'll do this one here. Um, yeah, dude. I, I, dude, I I'm so excited to see that one. Mega Scan City too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me. Ask what you would this. we do without Mega Scans? Oh, dude, it'd be horrible. It'd be a rough life. Like, no doubt. <laughs> I'd be out on the street. Um, okay, so let's talk about like what is going to be complicated with, with this here, with, with my render. Um, I'm looking at the roof, and I'm looking, I'm feeling like, 
mega scans has some of that roof tiling we can pull oh totally yeah um i feel like the hardest part is just going to be modeling that intricate building geometry it's just blocks though i mean getting the detail in the wood <laughs> paneling for sure like most definitely that's a good point but like i wonder how i'm gonna do the people because it's all about like the people inside it's cool oh yeah yeah i mean maybe you could do like a google image search for some stills from the movie and do like a quick roto cut them out and then stick them in as cards or something cool yeah i could see that um also getting the rain like you see how like the rain haze is kind of hitting yeah. the ceiling and stuff like i wonder how to yeah how are you gonna do that i don't know maybe that's photoshop maybe it's um like right i i mean people would say just just do it in comp just or whatever he says. It. <laughs> yeah we did a freaking thing with people um he came into the office. That freaking guy. It's going to be crazy. I'm not going to say too much because just look forward to some fun people content. It's going to be freaking crazy. Yeah. Um, but um, let's let's check out your scene, Peter. What Sweet. What are you looking at here? Like, What's going to be difficult for you on this one? Sweet. Yeah, I mean, the thing I, uh, I think I'm going to struggle with the most is just the composition because these scenes aren't real 3D scenes. I mean, they have 3D perspective, but it's not... Like you couldn't use F spy or something to get the exact focal length and composition. You kind of have to cheat it in a painterly way. So I'm just gonna like make it like a telephoto lens, maybe like a 50 mil or something like that. And then I'm gonna start laying out planes. Uh, first, I'm gonna go. Can I draw on this? Ooh. So I'm gonna go and do this ground first. Get this kind of curved area here, and then this curved area. Make sure I have a nice flat plane for the water over here. And then I'm going to go and make the medium-sized shapes. You know, this little thing right here, kind of block out some of the foliage, this little cliff thingy. Um, just get the general shape of the scene first. And then once that's done, I'm going to go in and start adding trees and shrubs. And then I think the last step will be getting these god rays and these little flowers right here, because that's what it's all about. That's like the cherry on top. Dude, that's great that was like so well said <laughs> <laughs> is this a, just the most beautiful composition right here <laughs> dude? with all these red lines yeah seriously it's great though man it's freaking great um holy crap yo we're at 577 people right now dude that's Heck like yeah son. that's almost a record um <laughs> sweet okay all right so uh peter here's what we're gonna do i think since everyone usually watches me stream in c4d they they know what's up i'm gonna start on you all right we're gonna start in blender we got a lot of blender fans going um sweet so yeah i'll just have you kick it off here and start building out your scene cool. i'll be building the background alongside you we'll switch back over to me when uh when i got something but yeah dude let's do it let's do it heck yeah son all right i'm pumped okay <sighs> so we got blender open here the first thing i'm gonna do is bring in our reference image Sweet. Okay. All right. Dude, I'm kind of nervous to follow up a Studio Ghibli screenshot. I, I got to do it justice, you know? Oh, absolutely. Cool. So I'm just going to start out with a little plane here. Oh, nice. You have your reference, like, in Blender itself. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I like doing that so that I don't have to switch windows or anything like that. That's really nice. Okay, so first, I'm going to do these little hills right here. Just get like a really rough representation so I can kind of eyeball the composition of the scene. All right, I must say, we, we did hit a record, Peter, an all time high. Yeah. 631 people in the stream, guys. Oh, heck awesome. yeah, son. And it's climbing. It's like 640. Like it's climbing up right now, son. <laughs> That's great. Nice. Okay, so we got a rough geometry here. Let me add a camera. How much do you narrate these? <laughs> like mo every time, like everything, dude. My throat <laughs> is so sore at the end of these streams because I'm just like talking for five hours straight. Sometimes it's oh just, my goodness, it's craziness. <laughs> okay. Camera calibrator. That's what. I okay, I'm doing. I'm doing a. Uh, 
You said F spy. That's basically somewhere where you line up perspective to your reference, right? Yeah. Yeah, if y'all watching don't know, there's this awesome free software called F spy where if you want to like perfectly match up the angle of a shot that you already have, you just load it into the software, you give it like four lines in uh perpendicular directions, and then it's just like bam, it gives you the focal length of the camera, it gives you the exact position and rotation. It's amazing. And then you can just import that into Blender or probably other 3D software and it just sets up your scene for you. It's wonderful. Yeah, I think I, I think Blender Guru was the first person I heard about that from when he was like yeah, recreating uh, Gone Girl or something. Right, yeah. Dude, shout out to freaking Andrew Price. Dude, that guy's a champ. That guy's a freaking Seriously. champ, son. <laughs> I still like I don't even use Blender and I watch his videos. It's he's like he's so good. I I really appreciate how his videos are more theory based and less actual like practice based. It, it's really nice. Yeah, his latest um like Cabin in the Woods one was so good, dude. Yeah. That, that video. I think Ren said he was going to pop by too. Oh, no way. That would be awesome. Yeah, like in the chat, I think we'll have to make him a mod. <laughs> Great. Around here somewhere. Yeah, so I got the scene going and it looks super janky right now. So I'm <laughs> actually going to overlay the background image on top of my scene so I can like do a pixel perfect there we Heck go. Yeah. Okay. So... Oh, that's awesome. Dude, this is fun. I'm pumped. <laughs> All right. It's all about that first block out, you know? Yeah. So you want to like up for success. Yeah, you start as, as general as possible. Like, get the big mm -hmm. blocks kind of locked in, and then you go in for the mediums, like you said. Yeah. Whenever I start small, like with the detail, I'm just like, I get halfway through, and it just falls apart. Yeah, because you're like, I just zoomed in on that, and then when I zoom out, I'm like, I didn't need to do any of that. <laughs> yeah, spend your time on the on the big stuff first. It's literally a sketch, like an artist's sketch before they start a drawing or a painting, you know? Yeah, totally. Okay, this is jank. I'm starting over. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to switch over to me real quick. Cool. So basically, like, uh, like we were talking about, F-Spy is for Blender, but Cinema has its own deal. Basically, if you have a... Your camera, you right click your camera and go to what? Where is it? Tracker tags, the camera calibrator. So you add that, you load in your image right here. Boom, I got my reference right here. That's what I'm doing. And we're gonna calibrate it so we add those lines like, like Peter was saying. Um, same technique, different program. So let's line this up. Let's do the Y axis. No, you know what? We got a good X axis line right here across the rooftop. Let's just line that up. And then if you hold shift and click this line, it'll it'll like determine what it is. Known length X. So this is X, it's red. That's exactly what we want. Um, let's add another one, because you for perspective, usually you got like these lines don't just go in the same direction. They they do in the world, but not to the camera. Like it might be a wider angle lens and it'll open up a bit wider. So shift click, that's X, and you can see X vanishing point, boom, solved. Um, let's add another line. Let's try and find the y-axis on these guys. Boom, right there. Shift click, y-axis. Not solved yet, but let's just add another line and it probably will solve, no problem. Um, Sipo, yo, what's up, dude? Thanks for the super chat. Appreciate you, brother. Um, you're stuck in exams. That sucks. Um, Oof. Sipo says, hey, Peter, really enjoyed your mushroom forest. Um, he's amped for the stream. Yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah. Thanks, man. I, I really appreciate that. I'm glad you enjoyed it. With that custom music too, man. That's freaking sick. Thanks. Yeah, I, I, I want to get back into music. I haven't done it in a while. Super fun. What program do you use? I use Logic. 
which is kind of a bummer. I had to like buy a separate computer to make music on because you can't use it on Windows. Oh, seriously? Yeah. Dude, that's crazy. I know. Dude, 732 people in the freaking live stream. Holy crap, dude. Heck yeah. That's awesome, son. <laughs> All right, so I got this stuff solved. You can see everything's yellow. Um, that means we got oh, everything nice. solved. And I should be able to make a cube. And the cube like, lives basically in that perspective. So if I go back here. Ooh, baby. I should be able to just load up a background. Let me see. Da, da, da. Load up a background. Let's save your freaking work, dude. Have you saved yet? <laughs> I have not. That is a good idea. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All right. Boom. Arthur, yo, what's up, dude? Thank you again for the super chat. That's freaking awesome. He says, What's up, y'all? Um, love your stuff at Corridor. Thanks for all the knowledge. Peter, you should let your patrons know you're here. Fuck, you're right. I did put it on my Instagram. That's good. That's good. Heck yeah. All right. This is boring stuff. I'm just going to load in a background. Let's go back to you, Peter. What you got going on right. over here, son? Sounds good. I got a freaking cube, dude. Nice. <laughs> All right. So I've somewhat successfully lined up the camera in this scene. Let me bring that down a bit, actually. There we, there we go. Now we're vibing. So we Vibes got our... Too. Cliff in the back here, we got empties representing our hill. Actually, you know what? This is like still so off. This is so difficult matching this. But you know what? We're going to do it. We're not is giving it, up yet. Isn't it like kind of hard on a stream too? Where like you feel like you have to like be entertaining the whole time and you feel rushed? <laughs> like, do you feel a little rushed? Oh, so absolutely. I'm feeling the pressure right now. <laughs> I'm a little shaky. I know, me too. I'm kind of cold. Yeah. It's, right. it's nice and gloomy here in LA today. I know. I you getting that it. gloom over, over yeah. near you? Yeah, absolutely, man. I think it might rain at noon pretty soon here. Ooh, baby. Yeah, it was raining last night, apparently. Yep. I love rain, man. We don't get enough of it. I know. All right, I think it's time to start sculpting. So I have my rough scene laid out here. You can see matching the background somewhat. And the perspective isn't entirely jank. I mean, it's a little, it's de honestly a little jank. Maybe this should be a bit bigger and further away. There we go, that's better. Yeah, I'm trying to get my scale right now. Okay, so now I'm going to go into sculpt mode, subdivide this a little bit. Go back into sculpt mode, and let's just start sculpting, yeah? Turn down the strength. I'm just going to sculpt this ground here to match the scene. A little bit right there. Cool, cool, cool. I'm going to add some more resolution. Sweet. Get that little spot. Awesome. Sweet. Yeah, we're looking good. Nice, dude. All right, we have the rough scene laid out. I think I should do some water next to add that plane. Oh my god, those subs? A lot of subdivisions. Subs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yo, what up, Todd? Thank you for the super chat, man. Yeah, Todd's having a good time. He's 37. Dude, Todd the god. Todd the freaking god, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he's learning Blender. He's 37. Um, oh, no way. Learn 3D modeling, yeah. Um, so he's digging it right now. Heck yeah. 
Dude, so many people are talking to me and they're like, oh, I want to learn Blender, but it's just so much work. I'm like, yeah, but if you just spend like 20 minutes a day, then you and you take the pressure off yourself of being good. You, you just like do a little bit every day. And then in three months before you know it, you, you can like do a ton of stuff that you would have never been able to do if you never started. Yeah, seriously. Um, it's all about those like bite-sized little bits consistently. And that's how you get better yeah. at anything. Um, I, I really like uh, Blender Guru's video on like the habits of effective artists and just never having a 0% day. You know, whether it's just like drawing a line or just like making one cube in Blender. When you, by the time you get there, you'll probably want to do a little bit more. Yeah, so, yeah, try absolutely. And never have a 0% day. That's a really, really good point. Um, also, too, I think, like, why are you trying to get into this? You know, like, why do you want to 3D model stuff? Why do you want to learn Blender? I think that's a good, like, answer. Or it's a good question to answer. You got to have, like, a... The, I think the stronger your answer, the more, the more passionate you'll be about it and the more you'll stick to your mm. goals, you know? That's a really interesting point. I'd never thought of it like that before. Because, like, if it's just like, oh, just whatever, you just want to learn it because, like, oh, like, someone did it and they thought it was cool versus, like... This speaks to me so much and I have so much fun doing this and I know that if I can do this, then like, you know, maybe it'll set myself up for a career, um, yeah, for a creative career. And if you know you're a creative person, then that's like, what, what you have to ask the question, like, what would happen if you didn't learn Blender? Like what, mm. mm -hmm. like, what would happen if you didn't do, you know, daily practice in Blender? Like two years yeah. down the line or just like 3d you know not just blender but like three years down the line like how would you be different how how much more valuable would you be and like yeah mm. it's all it's all good stuff to think about that's really interesting man that's a great way to look at it arturo what up son yo peter the chat wants a discord too all right so i got a discord <laughs> um it's just a create with clint discord we do weekly challenges and stuff but it looks like people want a peter discord too Damn, I, I honestly didn't know like having discords was a thing until you told me about yours. Yeah, dude, you, you would pop off. You have like a blender, like a super <laughs> blender like discord. That'd be sick, man. That would be fun. I don't know. It, it seems like a lot of pressure. I, I tend to be very antisocial. I mean, it's chill. Like you just get the community going and like, you know, give them fun challenges and stuff. Like, yeah, that's cool. That's be cool. a good time. All right. Yeah, yeah. I'll think about doing that. Um, all right, I'm going back back to my end here. I'm blocking out this uh, this freaking thing. So I'm just I got my cube on X-ray mode. Boom! I got my camera lined up here, so it like perfectly lines up, and I got my image on a background. So I'm just gonna like block this out like Peter's doing right now. Same deal. It's the same process, you know. Different programs, same idea. Um, so it really doesn't matter what program you guys are using, as long as you're making cool stuff. You can see how like the process is similar. Um, throughout all of this dang son freaking chat chats are off the oh, nice. chain right now dude off the hook <laughs> um uh, tila yeah. and mac thanks for the super chat we appreciate you guys um am i gonna try tune shading in octane maybe maybe not i don't know <gasps> i had messed with it It'd be cool though it. um and then mac you say you want to say thank you you guys Quarter I've been inspiring for years. My favorite thing to do in my free time. Heck yeah. Keep it up. Damn. Damn. Zachary. Mac the, Zach, Zach and Mac, the freaking... I can't think of a rhyme, but they're really cool. The freaking... The paper stack, dude. The paper stack. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Um, Zach wants to say thanks for populari popularizing Blender, Peter, um, and showing how cool it is. Aw. Dude, Blender is the freaking best, man. It's just, oh, I I could go on and on about it, but it's it's just such a great software, and it's only going to get better because the people who use it are the people who make it. You know, you're not answering to any shareholders or having to make money on new features or anything. It's just the people who love it are working on it, making it great, and I'm very passionate about it. That's sick, man. Like, there's a there's a lot of cool stuff about Blender, um, that would be fun. You know, like C4D is fun. I'm ha I'm very happy in C4D, um, but like mm -hmm. if I was, like if I if I didn't know anything about 3D, and I could choose like where do I go from here? Like Blender would be the first place I'd go. 
it does have a great community, which is nice for beginners. You know, there's a really, really active subreddit where people are always posting stuff and answering questions, and it's a really friendly vibe, which is nice. That's awesome, dude. But yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, it's all the same. All this 3D software, it does like exactly the same thing. It just comes down to preference and kind of just happenstance, whatever you start on, I guess. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So like this block out stuff is probably it's it's like one of the most important steps because this really if you can get your block out looking nice then like you're kind of off to the races really um because then you have you've set yourself up for for a successful you know concept or a successful piece of art um totally yeah it's it the bones it it's the it's the foundation of the house yeah 100%. Yo, did you save? Did you save recently? <laughs> I'm saving every 10 seconds. I My fingers are just terminally, like, on control and S. At, like, you know, like, when you're playing video games, it's WASD. Oh, yeah. When you're working on 3D stuff, it's just control S. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, Good God, Euclid, thank you. Thank you for the chat, dude. Um, you, He's working in AAA Damn. games as a hard surface artist. Switched <gasps> to Blender from Maya for about 90% of things now. Thanks, Peter. Wow, that's awesome. All right, I'm switching back to you, son. Where you at? Sweet, son. I'm good. I got my block out going. I'm going to start adding in the medium-sized objects, which are going to be this... Uh, we got some shrubs here, some shrubs there. We got these little, little cement blocks, I guess, going through. Like, you know, you, you model your thing, throw your material on it, and then you can go into sculpt mode and sculpt all these little details in there to catch the light, like on the edge of the surface and stuff. It's really nice. It's a really fun process. It feels very painterly, you know, doing your brush strokes and everything. That's so, super cool. Yeah, I'm very excited for that. That's awesome. So, yeah, I'm going to throw in these. It's a cylinder. Let's see, we want some, I guess I'll just do this. What would you say is like a tip right. for beginner artists, whether they're using Blender or not? What would you say is like something that you wish you would have known? Ooh, that's a good question. I guess that's more in the just stick with it category of advice, but this, like never have a 0% day, even if it's just like carve out like 10 minutes at the end of each day to just hop in. And at the very least, it'll help you retain your knowledge. You know, if you have a few weeks where you kind of fall off, you're busy with other stuff, that's totally fine. You know, nobody's saying you have to learn everything in one go, but just to hop in there and brush up a little bit so you don't lose any of that knowledge is definitely going to be helpful in the long run. That's legit. Yeah. Consistency, man. So freaking important. Yeah, I guess that's what it boils down to is just consistency. In anything. Um, like really, anything you're doing. Yeah, and also just finding a way to love it. Like if you find a way to have a really good time doing it, then you'll want to come back and it'll be easy. You know, like I've been working on games recently in Unreal Engine and I, I can't like, I find myself staying up to like 3 a.m. just messing around with stuff because it's so freaking fun, you know? And so just finding a way to make it fun for yourself, like whether it's the subject of what you're working on, you know, stuff like this, working on a Studio Ghibli scene, like it doesn't have to be, you don't have to post anything, it doesn't have to be even good, just finding something that's fun to work on will keep you coming back. That's a legit, a legit point, dude. Yeah, you have, it has to be playful and it has to be fun. If you're like dreading it, then mm -hmm. it's going to be tough. Yeah, totally. Which is why school is so hard for people, dude. Like, 
<laughs> Dude, I was a horrible student. I was I was okay. You know, like I really just like loved hanging out with my friends. It was a good time. Yeah. Um <laughs> But yeah, it it really can be very clinical sometimes. Um mm -hmm. better when things are fun. Yeah, totally. Yeah, it makes you want it more. Mm-hmm. Makes you work harder. Yeah. All right, sweet. I got my little, my little cement cylinders in here. Big chillin'. I'm just gonna create a little cube. This isn't going to be my final shrub. But this is just so I can get the general shape and block out the scene a little more. That's crazy. So you're like you're making these shrubs from. Are, is that gonna be your final like mesh, or are you gonna replace it with uh, with something? Yeah, I actually um, took some 3D scans of shrubs that I'm going to put on my Patreon. And uh, I, I think I'll throw that in there, see how that works. It's, it's surprising because you think like 3D scanning a plant wouldn't work because there's so much little detail that it wouldn't be able to capture. Yeah. And that's true, but it does get most of it. It's very surprising. And if you use it like in the background of a shot, it totally works. It's wonderful. That's awesome. 3D scans are, are so legit, man. Like, I feel like that's the way to do people, too. Because, um, you know, oh, you totally. can always tell when it's a 3D person in a scene. You're like, oh, I can just tell. <laughs> but if it's a photo yeah. scan, it's, like, so much better. Absolutely. Yeah, Ian Hubert uh, on his Patreon has, like, an animated crowd asset and a bunch of 3D scanned people. He's putting some amazing stuff on there. Like, honestly, don't subscribe to my Patreon. Subscribe to Ian Hubert's <laughs> Patreon. Because I put, I've put like some stuff on there and I think it's good stuff, but he is just like every day puts up something new that's like actually super valuable. So don't subscribe to me. Subscribe to him. Oh, I mean, Ian is basically the Blender God, but you're also like the Blender <laughs> God too. So it's kind of, it goes both ways, dude. <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of feel bad now uh, doing Patreon now that I work at Corridor because I'm like, I, I'm making a, a decent living wage. I... I've paused the billing on my Patreon for the last two months because, like, I kind of feel bad taking people's money, you know? I hear that, man. Yeah, I think, like, people are, people are going to be a fan of you, though. Um, no matter what, they're going to they're gonna be a fan of Peter. So, um, but I, I, I hear you at the same time, dude. Yeah. I hear you. No, there's something to that, you know? I, I do have certain artists that, like, even if they are, you know, making good money, I want to support them because I really like what they're doing and it makes me feel like... I have a hand in what they're doing, you know? Yeah, 100%. All right. So I'm just still blocking out on my end. Um, let me switch over here. <laughs> Same. It's the block out. You got to get the block out right, you know? Um, yeah. Once you do that, it's kind of... Then, then you're free. Then you're free to like roam and mm -hmm. and like really start building out some cool stuff. Um, yeah, that's when you can start like experimenting and stuff. Yeah, and it it'll come together like it's kind of like an exponential growth situation where it comes together in the end like crazy, super fast. Totally. Let's see. So I want to get this like roof piece going. So maybe we bring this point or this whole line actually. Some basic modeling basic. going on here. Nice. Just kind of get that in the corner and then we can pull this out. I'm holding control to whoop, make new stuff, make new geo there. And then you can use the bridge tool. Whoop. Boom, bridge that, bridge that. And then to optimize, you can select, uh, go to point mode, control A, select everything. Points, we have 12 points total and selected, hit UO. And if there's any doubled up points, then you'll see it here. You can also hit Alt V to bring up this little dialogue and go to HUD. And you can just check whatever info you want. I like having FPS up here and the, you know, faces and points and that kind of stuff to make it, make it easier to see what you got going on. All right, so if I go to camera view, like that's looking okay. Like the, it's a little off, a little off. 
we get the stuff back in and we're starting to feel the shape of this thing. And if I render it and get like a temporary HDRI going, let's do like a, just a color, not even a image is fine. And we'll pull, it was like a, kind of like a dark bluish green color somewhere like, somewhere in there. Arturo, what's up dude? Thank you for the super chat. He says, don't listen to Peter, subscribe to his Patreon so he can keep fulfilling it with knowledge. <laughs> And uh, and to join the Thanks, Discord, man. yeah, man, you should do a Discord to be sick, dude. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'm done. Okay, I'm wondering how much of this I can actually fill out with, like, uh, like the Quixel Bridge assets. Mm -hmm. You know, because they have like those walls. All the like walls and everything yeah. and the roofing tile and, and all that stuff. Like I'm wondering. I dude, I'm willing to bet you could go hundred percent, honestly. I mean, why not? All time record, eight hundred people in the stream. Good God, thank you everybody. Um Heck yeah. Uh, dude, congrats, Clint. Yeah, dude. You've been it's, killing it. It's both of us, son. It's it's impressive. I, I every Saturday I'll like wake up at twelve PM. And I look on YouTube and you're like already showered and probably <laughs> did like a full workout in our streaming. And I'm like, God damn, son. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. I'm really glad that we're doing this together, man. This is super cool. This is my first like joint 3D stream. I did one with Casey where we just did music, but like this, this is cool. Oh, dude. Nice. Dude, I'm having a great time. I'm glad we did this. Yeah. It looks like that kind of this like pops out this little piece here. I just don't know which one that is. I got too many pieces. There it is. How's this guy sitting? Man, ah, Ato. I can't pronounce your name, Ato. Um, thanks for the super chat. Heck yeah, I appreciate the knowledge. I'm, I'm enjoying my time with Peter here, and I'm really glad that you guys are enjoying it too. Rock on. Heck yeah. Um, all right, Peter, I'm going to hey. you. I'm going to you, son. All right. Bam. Do it. Ooh, you got lighting in there now. Cool. Yeah, yeah. I threw in uh, Blender just got a fancy new sky texture node that you can use for the background. It gives you like a nice... Not super realistic, but like like the lighting is realistic. The background isn't super realistic. Like you would want an HDRI for clouds or whatever. But if you're just going for like sunlight and having the blue fill from the skylight, this thing is perfect in the world node settings. And so I'm just using that to kind of flip back and forth between my reference, see how we're doing. Looking pretty good. It looks like the lighting in this scene I, I really like. It was, you know, you learn a lot of things by dissecting other people's art and recreating it. They have, like, the sunlight is really only hitting the center of frame, giving it a nice natural vignette. Um, like, they have trees covering up the light from most other parts of the scene. They just have the god rays coming in through the center and highlighting just this little bit. So I'm going to try and do that. Uh, I'm going to block out my lighting so that... I don't know, just so so that I can get a more real. I love that style. The um, like the sunlight in the middle of Dude, like a field, so and then everything else is kind of like stormy on the outside. Like that look is so cool to me. It's brilliant, and it it's brilliant because it's it's like pretty, but then also the it just helps the composition so much. It it tells your eyes where to look. Oh no! Something happened. What oh, happened? No. What happened? Some your computer, did you change your screen or something? Oh, did Discord Dude, F, crap for, out? F for chat is like popping off hard right now. Discord freaking crapped out on me. Did it really? Yeah. Okay, we'll be back. Uh, we'll get this back up. I still, I still have you, though. Uh, do you want to... Is that, am I back? I don't. 
Oh, I see you. Hold on. Let me. Let me see here. Let me see. Blenda. Yeah, there you are. There you are. There you are. And your camera's loading. Hey, you're back. You're back. Sweet. Okay. Wee -wee. Yeah, Discord just pieced me out for some reason. Woo wee, son. That's what happens when you when you gotta like freaking tech your own your own stream and like do a <laughs> render at the same time. It's like God, so much stuff. All right, we're back in, everybody. Thank you for the moral support there, Josh. I see you. Um, much appreciated. And Adrian, shout outs to you. Thank you, thank you. Um, so you got Peter, or no, okay, sorry. Peter, you got Adrian into sculpting on Blender. Um, oh, no way. Yeah. Heck yeah. That's awesome. Dude, Adrian, that's super sick. Send me what you're working on. I want to see it. Yeah, Peter, your, he's your, your handle at Peter France on Instagram. Oh, yeah. Dude, I, I was early enough to the party, I snagged my name on most software or uh, services smart smart <laughs> all right back back to your blender magic peter heck yeah what i'm doing now is i'm jumping on over to quicksoul bridge to grab some mega scans and i'm not going to start placing mega scans in my scene yet i'm just going to use them i'm going to take this little fern here and i'm going to place it above my scene to block out the light so i can get some natural shadows Covering oh, up these areas right the here. dappled look? Exactly. Son, but have you ever tried using a noise map for that? A noise map? I, I mean, you could use a noise map, but you don't get those, the leaf, the leaf shapes. I got you. Okay, well, maybe, is there a card, a leaf card you could use that might be like, like an atlas? You know how they have those atlases? Ooh. Maybe save on, yeah, save I on use some computer juice, or maybe not. Do your thing. I, Do your thing. You 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 had it. Yeah, I yeah. I'm <laughs> All right, gonna export that to Blender. Cool. My scene is like the scale of my scene is whack. It's I know huge. mine's small. I know mine's whack too. But I'll, <laughs> I'll fix it later. Whatever. Dude, Megaskins has this awesome bug. It's not even a bug. It's just some like flipped a wire somewhere <laughs> where when you import it to blender it puts the bump map into the alpha channel oh so you just gotta switch it over to the normal kind of annoying <laughs> all right oh frame or uh not frame rate uh aspect ratio helps with the block out like what what do you see in your scene that is helpful all right, it looks like. Dude, this freaking, this house is like all askew, dude. Like it's, it was built so <laughs> jankly. It's like pieced together. I'm trying to figure out like there's, there aren't really straight lines. There are in relation to the, their own little bits, but everything is kind of just like placed in jankly, which is cool. Do you think that's, part of the design or do you think that's just a byproduct of it being painted um it is probably designed that way dude definitely interesting also your mic is frozen or no no your mic is mic. frozen your, your your camera is frozen oh no is it better let me see at least it's not a smile no it's still <laughs> wait is it because i'm using up my gpu i have two renders going right now oh my god uh you're still frozen god damn it <laughs> but at least we can hear you dude <laughs> oh f f god damn it discord f for respects dude all right okay. peter's gonna get his situation back it's all good y'all at least we at least like wait can you can i hear you can you hear me yeah you're back, son. Okay, cool. You're back, son. I'm back? Yeah. Sweet. Okay. He's back. All right. I think I'm close right, enough to... block out that lighting. Getting this thing ready. Um, Heck yeah. Pretty darn close here.
All right, and then it looks like there's kind of like a cube down here because this thing looks like it's on stilts. It's so cool. <laughs> like the thing I love about this piece of art is that like, here, let me pull up the full thing. Yeah, the thing I love about this here is the feeling that outside is very rainy, very wet, very cold, very scary. Mm, mm -hmm. um, it's a place you don't want to be. You do not want to be outside. Um, but inside, people are having a blast. It's a good time. You have like the warm windows. It's a place where you want to be. But it's viewed from this scary place. It's viewed from the outside, which is scary. And I love, like, if it feels, like, extra comforting to know that there is a safe place surrounded by a scary place. And, like, you're inside the safe place. Like, that's so cool to me. <laughs> that's really interesting. Yeah, you, you have, like, the contrast of color and brightness, but you also have the contrast of emotion in the shot. Yeah, 100%. Is my video crapped out again? Dude, it might be. All right. Oh, dang, son. Ian says, tell, tell him to go to preferences, system, and deselect CPU for rendering, and it will likely fix the frozen Discord issues. Oh, okay. Preferences, system, and deselect CPU for rendering. Okay. Preferences. Yeah, we got some subscribers, too. Thanks, y'all. Went off. Oh, my goodness. All right, I see you. There you are. Okay. Um, okay. Settings. Preferences. Uh, I'm not seeing preferences. I'm seeing settings. It's preferences system. And then deselect CPU for rendering. Uh, Jack says edit preferences system CUDA and deselect CPU. I'm not seeing this. Here, I'm switching. Edit preferences? Yeah, I, there's no edit. It's just like a window. But I got user settings. In Blender. Voice in Blender. Video. Oh, in Blender. In Blender. Oh, <laughs> I see. <laughs> I thought we were talking about Discord. I, yeah, I could do CPU. Let's see how that goes. Oh, that's not too bad. That's fine. All right. Am I still frozen? Oh, we're chilling. Heck yeah. Yeah, it's on Thank you now. Thank you to whoever suggested that. Yeah, a cool. couple people. All right, Clint, I think you were right. Uh, I'm going with the noise map. <laughs> For real? Yeah, just because I couldn't get enough detail with the 3D model. Oh, okay, I got you. All right, so what I'm doing here is I'm creating a new material for this plane, as Clint suggested, and I'm feeding in a noise texture to the alpha. Cool. That whole thing. And then, wait, hold on. Dude, I thought okay. you were frozen yeah, again. I got it. I was like, <laughs> I thought you were frozen. I was like, dang, you were just thinking so no, hard. No, my brain was just frozen. You like went into the <laughs> matrix. <laughs> Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to do this thing. <laughs> Isn't it hard to think on a stream, too? Dude, it's so hard. I, my brain is mush right now. Yeah, because it's like you're thinking about so many things, and it feels weird to like stop and think about like in detail about something because you want to keep talking, but it's difficult. Yeah, that's what I learned about like film sets, is if you're ever directing, you feel like... You just have to have an answer for something right away. Like somebody asks you a question, you're just like, boom, answer. But in reality, you can be like, okay, give me a second. You walked aside and you think about it. You just give yourself a moment and you use your clear head to come up with a decision and then you come back to the situation. You don't have to do everything right in the moment. That is a great piece of advice, dude. That is a great piece of advice. Like, yeah, give me some time is totally reasonable. You don't have to have the answer right then and there. <laughs> Yeah. That's legit, man. 
Okay, so I'm making a new texture, which I'm going to paint onto my uh, little light blocking thing here, so I can decide which parts of the image are going to have light and which are not. So, let's see here. Go back into my shader editor, bring in the image texture, lighting text. I'm going to feed this into the alpha with the mix RGB. Boom. Bim bam boom baby. Oh bim bam boom. Okay, so let's see if this works. So you're trying to get a dappled light look. Right? Yeah, exactly. Do you get do you get like okay, cool. bummed when your art doesn't look good? For the first, like... Dude, of course. Most of the time I spend making stuff is, like, in pain. Yeah. <laughs> I feel the same, dude. I mean, no, it's fun, but it's also, like, stressful. Because, you know, you set high standards for yourself, and if you don't live up to that expectation, it can be very stressful. Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. Like, I, I, I definitely feel I'm a perfectionist. And... Totally. It's tough to try and meet your own expectations sometimes, but yeah, sometimes you just got to chill and like, you know, figure it out. Keep with it. That's Consistency. Yeah. All right. I'm darn close. Um, this is feeling pretty darn close to me. This like grouping of houses here. So I'm probably going to start... Um, What's next? I'm probably going to go to Mega Scans and start building this thing out. <laughs> yeah. Time um, to hit the Mega Scans. Shout outs to Giraffe in Space and Neon, Neon Elias uh, for the super chat. You guys are awesome. Um, yeah, Giraffe says that we've inspired him to be a filmmaker and a VFX artist, been following uh, us Aww. for years. And thanks to Peter for getting him into blender that's awesome that's really nice to hear hell yeah man so sick clint that's looking great oh thanks dude um here let me see get lined it up here yeah i just got to get the get the detail we got the block out yeah um yo mele what is up son mele won the like um hope i'm saying that name right he won he did like the anime render on oh, wow. the uh the render challenge montage video of the guy like it's like pink oh. and blue and he's like walking through with the steam. Dude, that was awesome. So good. Yeah, crazy good. All those were super sweet. That was an awesome video. I'm so glad you made that. Oh man, it 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 blew me away. I, I want to do another one ASAP this year. Um Yeah, you should do it. Oh I'm gonna. Oh I'm gonna. Heck yeah. Um all right, I think it's I think it's time to take a look at my image here and see what I need using uh where are you bridge mega scans bridge oh and uh neon Elias, probably butchering that name as well I see you um so he's saying that streaming in Discord is generally really crappy if you have a high load on your G CPU and GPU tech tip use Google oh. Meet. Sounds dumb, but it works. Ah. We'll use it next time. Interesting. Okay. Um, and then Arturo with another super chat says, Peter, check Insta DMs for the chat's recommendation on Blender settings uh, changes and to join us on Blender Nest episode. Huh. huh. I'll check it out. Interesting. Yeah, cool. check it out. Arturo, yep. send me a DM, uh, Instagram or, or uh, Discord also works. Okay, so yeah, I gotta start pulling the pieces of this puzzle here together on bridge. <laughs> um, so let's see, like I need some roof tiling. I am probably going to make these little windows, like the frames by hand, it's very simple. Um,
it looks like I need some wooden like tatami style, Japanese style kind of pieces of wood here. Mm. Um, some pipes and some vents and like nice. it's really like a roof. And then I guess if I really had to like get detailed with this, let me pull up this guy here, full screen. So I'm gonna build this out. Um, I'm gonna start pulling pieces here, um, like this really gross wood. It's all about this gross wood right here. That's awesome. <laughs> um, and the roof tiling and stuff. While I do that, uh, Peter, I'll be on be on you. All right, sounds good, man. What you working on? Still trying to get the lighting worked in, yeah. Yeah, dude. These freaking nodes are confusing me. I'm trying to. So I got. <laughs> <laughs> Looks super janky right now, but I got this little plane up here that should have a little uh, transparent bit in the middle of it to let the sun come through. But my coffeeed out brain is like having a hard time understanding my own nodes, which is just like the story of my life. Understanding my own nodes. Yeah, I've definitely been there. Yeah, take a second. No, no pressure. And uh... heck yeah. Figure out what the heck's right, going on. I want to mix that and the fat. Oh. Eh? What? <laughs> Dude, color ramps all day. Heck. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to wait. What? <laughs> What's going on? Oh, yes! I got it. <laughs> there we freaking go. All right. It was inverted. Now we're talking. Yeah, I just had to invert it. That's so funny, man. Everyone's like in the chat, they're like, invert it! Invert it! <laughs> I was trying! All right, cool. Let's look at the reference again, see how we're doing. Big chillin'. Okay, I'm gonna extend that so it uh, covers our background as well. Try maybe move it up a bit. I just ripped my pants. You just ripped your pants? God dang it, I just ripped a hole in my pants. Are you serious? Yeah. How'd you even do that? I just hand was in my back pocket. <laughs> Freaking easy. <dude. laughs> Grip of Zeus <laughs> right there. <laughs> Ooh, son, All that's right. looking good. Hey, that's looking nice, Hell dude. Hell yeah! You got the thanks, man. Going. Yeah. You were right about that noise map. It definitely made it a lot simpler. Cool. Cool. All right. I think now it is time to move on to detail. I'm going to do this cliff in the back first. And I think the way I'm going to do that is with some good old fashioned mega scans. That's where I'm at. <laughs> Dude, you hear they got, they came out with some like crazy new cliffs and stuff. Yeah. That's what I'm using, baby. Heck yeah. <gasps> Ooh, new muddy ground. Volcanologist lab. Fancy. Do you ever build like an asset layout or do you just drag stuff in your scene and like forget about it and just move it around? What do you mean by asset layout? Like where you'll like, you'll basically go into, um, you'll basically like go into a scene and you'll have a separate project or a separate window or like off to the side, all of your assets that you pulled in from bridge, like laid out like a plant oh. and then a wooden beam and then everything. It's like, so you can see the toys you're playing with and then you duplicate. Dude, that's really smart. I don't do that. And I definitely am going to start doing that because that's a really good idea. I, I never really do that, but I was watching um, Joe Garth's uh, Unreal Engine tutorial on Learn Squared. And he mm. does that where he like lays his stuff out to see what he's looking at. Um, that's clever yeah oftentimes i'll like especially in unreal i'll be like populating a scene with stuff and then i just start duplicating things and then i forget about this one asset that's in this like one little spot and then it's just like a million of one asset 
and none of that other one so yep. that definitely would be helpful yeah to see like what you have dude it'd be so sick to have like i got a 3d palette where like oh. you can have like an ipad with all your assets on it and you just swipe them up into your scene whoa dude that's the future right there that'd be so sick oh, oh my god i freaking tried uh laying out a scene in unreal with vr the other day it was amazing oh for you, real you just like put on your vr headset and then as opposed to like playing the game you just go into the editor and you can like put in uh assets with your controllers and stuff and it's so much easier than doing it in a 2d view because you actually have a 3d perspective of the scene hello i'd like to introduce the stream to my lovely girlfriend kaylee <laughs> <laughs> who's being shy <laughs> Hello. <laughs> this is Kaylee. She just brought me a butterfly. Which is it is the dead? Sweetest thing. It is dead. Where did you find this? On the sidewalk. On the sidewalk. Oh my goodness. It's beautiful. That's legit, dude. Oh. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you. This what is... a what a nice gift, dude. <laughs> it's so nice. That's <laughs> hilarious. Wow. That is beautiful. Love you. That's special, dude. That's special. Super special. Dude, Kaylee's the best. Oh, man. Dude, I feel like there's so much more work to do. I know. I'm just freaking looking at Mega Scans. How much time do we have? Whenever. There's no time limit. You just go, you know. Oh, cool. Until it's chill. Cool, cool. Until we're like, I can't, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Josh, thanks for the super chat. Madalena, thank you. Um, uh, he says, nice smoothie tutorial. Is that a reference? <laughs> yeah kaylee made a smoothie tutorial it's it's like a blender tutorial but it's like an actual blender tutorial oh, oh, got you got you and yeah, it's up on my sense. channel heck yeah kaylee the people like your blender tutorial <laughs> 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 you guys say thanks and then madalena's tall oh <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome dude shout outs that's great <laughs> Oh man, all right. Um, so thanks for entertaining a tired 10 hour till deadline architecture student. Keep up the good work. Uh, we oh, got nice. you. We Dude, got you. Good luck on your project, son. Yeah. What tablet am I using? I'm using a, a Wacom Intuos Pro 4, the medium size one. It's the best. I love it. Why'd you start using a Wacom? Um, because I figured if, like, if I'm going to be doing this for the rest of my life, I want to save <laughs> my wrist, and I heard that this was like healthier or more ergonomic. That's probably a really good idea. And then, other than that, um, I don't know. For drawing and stuff, if I wanted to do drawing, yeah. it's just easier to draw. Totally. Yeah. That's cool. I should probably get one of those. Don't we have like a bunch of those in the studio? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Nice. All right. So I, what I do when I'm in Bridge here is I actually like favorite it. I'll favorite stuff. Um, oh, cool. Yeah, and then I need some roof tiles. So I'm just going to look up roof. And see what they got. Okay, this is cool. Um, I think tech, technically the roofing would be... Ooh. I like that. That's nice. Ishan, what is going on? What what on earth is going on? You have um, Peter and myself. I'm in Cinema 4D, making some Ghibli art, and then you got um, you got Peter in Blender. Hey hey, making some more Ghibli art. Represent. Yeah, so we're making some fun stuff. Cinema 4D and <laughs> Blender unite. Um, <laughs> making some cool art, man. Yeah, going to town. Heck yeah. Right now I'm gathering assets to build this to build my scene out and peter what are you doing i'm too freaking nose dude <laughs> i'm trying to okay so i got i got my first mega scan in baby's first mega scan and uh i realized there needs to be a little light hitting this thing so i'm gonna try and go back into my dreaded light map that is not entirely working and screw it i'm just gonna freaking cut a piece out of it <laughs> All right. So what I'm trying to do here 
is I'm trying to get some light hitting this little cliff right here. Shout out to Cliff. Shout out to Cliff. So maybe like right there. Let's just hide those faces. No. Let's hide those faces. No. Let's hide those faces. No. How about those? How about... God, where the heck is this coming from? Your light? What are you looking for? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out where the light's coming from. It, your lights, is your light below your okay. plane, dude? From this direction? No. No, no, no. It's above. What the heck? Y'all. Oh, it's probably not showing because it's only... Pff, I'm not actually deleting the vertices. Troubleshooting is a thing. It happens to everybody, no matter how good you are. <laughs> it's true. There you go. Oh, there we go. Now we're, now we're cooking. <laughs> so I think it's right here. Boom, baby. That looks awful. But at least now I know where to paint. <laughs> Dang, dude, this is freaking hard, man. This is just going to take hours to find the right textures <laughs> in this crap, dude. Oh, man, I got to get these roof tiles correct. There we go. Okay, sweet. There's probably such a better way to do this, but I'm kind of locked into this now. And I'm just going to say, whatever. Yeah, I'm trying to decide whether should I do these roof tiles one by one and like clone them mm. or if i should just do maybe for them it's only one section maybe i should just do it like all as 3d objects that would be that'd be dumb <laughs> roof tile hmm Nice, so you're like painting in the light. Oh yeah. Okay, I think that should work. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now we're talking. That's super now cool, man. Fire. Thanks, dude. Yeah, it's definitely like maybe the worst way I could do this, but it's working well enough that I'm not going to stop. <laughs> I hear you for sure. <laughs> That's like... All of capitalism. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, it's going. <laughs> like, I'll just keep going, I guess. <laughs> Dang, I need like metal, like corrugated metal. It's looking nice, dude. I can see it. Like, oh my, wait. Yeah. Is that rock texture back there? Thanks, man. Yeah, it's just a little mega scan. It's my Son. it's baby's first mega scan. That looks so good. Thanks. Yeah, okay, I think we got the lighting. Also, what am I doing? I could just be adding lights to my scene. I could just freaking throw in like a point light here and a point light there. Why am I messing with the freaking sun? Whatever. <laughs> okay. Cool. All right. It is time to throw in some mega scans. More mega scans. Yeah. Mega scans. Actually, pfft. sorry. What were you gonna say? I was just say I, nothing important. I'm just browsing mega scans. <laughs> <laughs> you should just do a stream on Saturday, just like browsing mega scans. You don't even make anything. You just look through and you're like, "Oh, that's nice. I'll save that." <laughs> Be the biggest commercial. <laughs> Honest, oh my god, if you could get that sweet, sweet Epic Games Quixel uh, sponsorship. That'd be sick. Yeah, that'd be sick. Yeah, these guys are great. Okay, I got some like roof tiling business. Uh, I got some wooden beams. Um, 
pipes I'll do later. Let's try and get some wood paneling. I'm I'm still staying on you. You're you're uh nice. You're doing cool stuff over there. Sweet. Yeah, I um this is one of the 3D scans of plants I did. Let's see. Oh, I wish I could use my GPU. Dude. Oh my god. But yeah, it it works like surprisingly well. And this was just for from like walking around this plant for 5 minutes. And that is that on your phone or is that on DSLR? Yeah, this was DSLR. It was just like, like a gloomy day, San Francisco. I was walking around. You get some pretty damn good detailed plants. That's amazing. And in my opinion, like like mega scans are great for populating a background and for like using in Unreal and stuff. But if you want the really high detail plants, mega scans doesn't really have much of that. Um, I generally like to use three D scans for that. Polygon stuff is nuts. They're oh, plants. dude, the polygon stuff is amazing. Yeah, they have the best like Fantastic. potted plants. Yeah, they're like photo real. It's mm-hmm. nuts. Cool. So I'm gonna bring in another one of those little 3D scans I did. Dude, just building out my own like 3D scan library has been so nice. I've been putting stuff up on my Patreon too. It's just, I don't know. There's something rewarding about having an asset library that you made yourself. You know. 100% man. Yeah. Um like with those imperfections. Like, like your your surface imperfections. Yeah. Those are freaking awesome. It's so much fun. Cuz then you just make the stuff you always use, you know. Mhm. And then if you don't use your own stuff, then you know it's like, oh crap, I should probably do a better job. <laughs> yeah, totally. Oh boy. Blender's chucking. Trying to import this 3D scan. Lots of geometry. <laughs> do you have LODs with your stuff? No, no, I should. Or I, I do have like a high quality and a low low poly version. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, not as much as I should. Let's see. Where's this freaking? There's this other plant I'm trying to get. Where the heck is it? Oh, here we go. Plant O three maybe. Is it? No. Plant O four. Plant 04, that's the one. All right, I got my first roof tile in here. Oh, heck yeah. I went with a a 2K texture because, you know, basically, I think... We we were actually talking about this uh, the other day at work. Um, Yeah. Like what I try and do is import like the the 2K textures, the low res textures, and that way I'll keep my computer alive, you know. Because especially if I have a lot of stuff, <laughs> I'll just do low res textures until I look at the final and I see, oh, I need to update these textures here, here, and here, and then those will be 4K or 8K when they're closer to camera, and then it's okay. My scene is like optimized. Yeah, that's really smart. Yeah, because you can always switch it out later, but if you have a bunch of, like, 8K, 4K stuff in your scene, then it's just going to be a bitch and a half to switch it all out. Yeah, most definitely. So I got this roof tile here. Um, It's not bad at all. Usually I go in here, I change this to glossy and octane. That just has a nicer shine to it. I can mm. come in here and, like, tweak this a little bit more. Maybe... The roughness, I can... Yeah, it already has a color correction node on it. I can crank the contrast maybe and like have certain parts be more reflective, more specular. Mm-hmm. Or even do it with a gradient maybe. I'm going to pee real quick. Yeah, go for it. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna try and populate this roof tile across the top up here. And basically I'll need to like stretch this out. You can see how it's like a very intense shape here. So maybe what we'll do. Uh, 
Uh, Silver Gaming. This week's challenge will be announced at the end of the stream. Along with the winners of this week's challenge, which was color. All right, let's just try and get this looking nice. So I want to stretch it. Not too crazy, though, because I don't want it to be, like, really bad looking. It is going to be a distance away. So I think what I'll do is take this stuff, and I want to clone it. So I'm going to hold Alt, throw it in a cloner. I can pause my renderer and just make sure you guys are saving constantly. And I just want to kind of bring these guys. It looks like they're snugged up onto each other like this. And closed in like that I'll open them up just a little bit and they kind of clamp onto each other like that and then from here you can obviously like really push how many you're duplicating I always set my instance mode to multi instance that way you can duplicate a bunch of stuff a lot a whole lot of times without really taken down your performance so we'll go to town on this i know it's not quite the same roof but it'll do the trick so let's see what up son maybe we rotate these guys around or we can mess with the Transform, there we go, yeah. Flip them this way, maybe. Yeah, 180. Yeah, the tiles are laying on each other, basically. Something like that. Can you hear me, And son? then you can use, you can actually keep rotating here, so they all kind of like sit up just a little bit. <laughs> Don't worry about Peter, he's just taking a small break. He'll be back in a second. No worries. And then let's take these tiles and see if we can't like position them up like this, but also mess with the transform. Can we step the transform? So I want to be able to, let's see, per step. Should be able to get these to like stack a little bit. Oh, he's trying to talk to me. Peter, I can't hear you. You got to call me again on my phone. Let me call this. It's a very complicated technical situation we got going. Thanks, y'all. All right, I see you, Peter. Hey, hey. Yo, what's up, son? There we go. All right. Sorry about yeah, that. We're back. We're good. Kal uh, Kaloopsy, thanks for joining. Catch you later, man. Peace. Step Deformer, yeah, Step Deformer is totally the way to do it. So I'm going to have my cloner selected, and let's do a... Uh, where's my Deformers at? Boom, here we go. I want a... Boop, 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 boop. Where are you, Mr. Step? There you are, Step Deformer. But we don't want to do it through scale. We want to do it through Y position. We don't want to go from left to right. We want to go from front to back. So I think that would be in the coordinates of this thing, maybe. Rotate it around. How's this going to work? No. Um, hmm. Huh. Maybe experimenting how I want to rotate it around. The step modifier is going from left to right. I want it to go from front to back. The step effector instead. There's different ones. Let's see. I've never even used this. I don't know what this is. 
Now that is the step effector. MoGraph vector step. That's what I have. Literally what I have. Hmm. I just need to change this. I need to rotate this around somehow. All right. Um. Hmm. Cloner changes? What do you think? Uh. Man, I don't know. Hmm. All right, well, Peter, while I troubleshoot this, uh -huh. I'm going to you, son. Heck yeah, do it. Uh, let me see if I can get your thing back up here. Where is it? I think it? I should be streaming. Watch it. Uh, I'm, it's trying to connect to your capture here. Uh, well, it should be working. Hmm. Where are you at? Yeah, I'm not seeing. Hmm. Yeah. See you, but I don't see your blender. Discord is streaming. All right, let me. Be working. I'm gonna hang up and I'm gonna call you back. All right. Sounds good. Weird. Can you stop sharing your screen and then share again? Yeah. Give that a shot. There you go. There we go. I think Sweet. we're I think we're good now. Awesome. And then we'll hit you back. All right. We're we're in. We're watching you. Hell yeah. Okay. So, I got some of my 3D scans in here. I'm kind of just lining them up to where they are in the scene here, getting some rough for this like foreground Plant stuff, I want to have some high detail scan action going on. Get some of that nice detail. I'm just lining that up, getting that to look all pretty. Big chilling. Yeah, if, if you've never experimented with 3D scanning before, I highly recommend it. It is very fun. And it's kind of addicting. I just find myself like going out with my DSLR. When I lived in San Francisco, I did this a bunch. You just go out with the camera, you walk around like a forest path or a little park, and you see something, and you just look like a total doofus taking a million pictures, like rotating around it. Like to everybody else, you probably look like the world's worst photographer. <laughs> totally. <laughs> but uh, no, it's super fun. You get a ton of great stuff. And uh, then you can just. Take it into reality capture, process it, and then just throw it into your scene willy nilly. It's wonderful. I, I really enjoy it. Yeah, I mess with uh, with photo scans on that parallel dimensions render I did of myself. Oh, nice. Cliff came over and helped uh, help scan me. Oh yeah, that was that model was you, right? Yeah. Um, nice. And it made me really want to do more of it. It's like super fun. It's so fun, and just the amount of detail you get is absolutely nuts. Yo, Rumi, we gotta chill it out. Chill it out with the, uh, with the spam in here, dude. You gonna get, you gonna get the boot if you ain't careful, son. Don't worry, I got, mm. I got my problem solved. <laughs> Appreciate it, All man. Right, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna duplicate this and take out this tree nonsense. 
God, like, Clint, are you seeing this? Yeah. This detail right here? Yeah, it's ridiculous. God dang. God dang. That's your scan? Yeah. That's so cool. It's so easy, too. It's, it's like, dumb. Are you using uh, Sam would say. reality capture for that stuff? Yeah. Reality capture is the fastest one I've found. Nice. Like, runs on your GPU. I don't know. They got some kind of algorithm making it fast. That's awesome. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's it's not like lightning fast. You still got to wait like it's probably like 30 minutes total per scan, but that's not nearly as bad as other software. Dude, this this image is going to take me forever. How, what? <laughs> no. Dude, you got to you got to just do those broad strokes, you know, get those crappy materials in there and then add detail if you need to. Yeah, you're right. I think I need to get my windows going and like the lighting and stuff mm. right now. Maybe. I'm just replacing this little block out with uh, the real shrub. Let's see here. Hmm. You sound like a Minecraft villager. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to figure out the best way to do these like little screen windows. I think I need to make like a block of one and then I'll like duplicate it across. That's probably a good idea. Yeah. <sighs> dude, your scene is looking nice, dude. Nice. Thanks, man. Yeah. I'm jealous. I'm pretty happy with how it's going. God, I wish there were... Mega Scans had trees, dude. I know. If only they had trees. <laughs> Seriously, that's what we need. Yeah. Ed okay. Eddie says you need God Rays. God Rays. I agree. I think that's going to be like a last step. Yeah. To get those. You know, I might even do those in comp. Actually, no, 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 no. I can't do that in comp. It would look way worse. <laughs> <laughs> but let's see I'm going to duplicate my little shrub and I'm going to make a super low poly version of that to populate my background with because we got tons of shrubbery back here and I want to be able to just copy and paste this without having my computer hate me so I'm going to put a little decimate modifier on there bring the geometry down a bit Maybe I'll even solo this, go into material preview. And I'm gonna take out I'm gonna take out the rest of this ground here, so we're just left with the shrub. How often do you create scenes that like chug your computer hard? I mean honestly it's it so depends. You know, sometimes I'll have Scenes that I feel are really complex and my computer doesn't bat an eye. And then sometimes I have scenes that are like not that complex. And my computer's like, Ugh! yeah, so I don't know. Um, but recently for my short film, I've been doing a lot of like city renders, um, like full CG city. And my computer is just like, no, thank you. Mm. And it takes a while. So I've had to get really diligent about creating folders of like background elements and then a subfolder of like buildings people objects and stuff like that and then i can just toggle those on and off for specific uh use cases you know okay so I yeah only, i pretty much i'll like block out the scene with all the props and everything and then the last step once i am ready to hit render i've done all the animating and stuff is to turn back on all that uh like uh i don't know the render heavy stuff yeah yeah, that makes total sense. Cool, so I got my shrub isolated here. And I'm going to throw another decimate modifier on. Get this to be real low poly so I can just smack the background with it. <laughs> smack that background. I'm actually going to... I got all these little bits and bobs that I don't need, so I'm going to select the main area. Control-L to select everything linked to it. 
Invert my selection with control I. Oh, I gotta turn on screencast keys. What am I doing? So people can see. Oh, that's a thing? Yeah, dude, it's great. It's a plugin for Blender where you just enable it and then it shows which keys you're hitting. Dude, I gotta get that for C4D. That's nice. It's super nice. I bet they have a, an equivalent. Probably, yeah. Where are you, screencast keys? There we go. Hmm. Not seeing it. Oh, you're you're Upgrade usually able to see it on your side? Oh, it's because I'm using 2.9. It's not... I don't have the right version installed. Hmm. That's all right. Okay, let's populate that background, yeah? Let's do. Ooh. Oh, I wish you could do, like, dual monitor streams. That'd be awesome, yeah. I, maybe you can. I just <laughs> don't know about it. Yeah, it would also be tough for, like, people watching in 16 by 9, you know? Very, yeah. All right, I got my little scaffolding thing going here. Um, Heck yeah, let's see it. So basically, I just created this little thing in a separate project. I'm always hopping into new projects to like make stuff small, and then I'll mm -hmm. I'll like copy it into like the big one. Um, That's clever. So it's just a paper window right here, and then you could just take this, probably group all these things, and throw... Wait, you got to switch over something. Oh, I did. Oh, I'm delayed. There you go. Sorry. <laughs> you scared me. Um, I'll throw a bevel in there. That way, like I'm beveling everything at once, and I'll just give it like subdivision of three. Nice. Point two, but it looks like it's chunking right there. But you probably won't be able to see that from so far away. I think that's totally fine. We can, we can turn on all of our bevels looks good to later. Me. Yeah. We need to save it. I'll just drag it in. I think my biggest thing right now is to like actually hollow out these buildings and get the lighting going. Totally. How are you going to hollow them out? Um, I'm probably the easiest way is probably just to inset and extrude. Mm -hmm. I think would be the easiest way. Nice. Yeah, I think I will do that. Right, so yeah, I grab this face and I'll do MW to inset and then D will push it back. And like technically, there's like a, a cut so we can hit KL, hold shift, we go right in the middle, boom. We can take that, move it over, bleh, go to edge mode, UL for loop selection, W, and then we'll move this over. And then we can grab this face and just push it back even further. Because technically, like, it goes around the corner. If you look at mm. this image here, like, there's, like, a little... It goes around the corner there. And dude, I'll, that's looking great. I mean, I barely have anything, dude. <laughs> Let's see. Get this paper window popping off. Yeah, it's all about getting those large-scale things placed first. Totally. And rename your stuff that way god that's the best piece of advice that i never follow <laughs> yeah because things get out of hand like it gets crazy mm -hmm. all right and then let's see if i can just clone this all the way across Be a linear cloner and 
looks like it's on the Z axis. The left, and we might be able to get away with four copies and just kind of crunch it maybe a little bit. Hmm. Or maybe it's three with like. one of them slid in or something. Yeah. yeah, push it back a little bit like that. And then maybe we go in here and actually like mess with the actual shape of this thing. Oh, come on. What the heck? Oh my God. Am I freezing? I might be freezing. All right, I'm switching to you. Just crashed. All right. <laughs> oh, no. No. <laughs> Take the reins, Peter. <laughs> All right. So. Yeah, I've started going through and adding some plants. I'm pretty much just taking this plant 3D scan I have and duplicating it all over the place. I'm doing, like, I, I find that the 3D scans are really nice for adding density because it's like a solid object, whereas the mega scans are just like, there's lots of transparency. And those are nice for once you have the density you want foliage wise. Then adding those on top to give it the nice detail because I mean obviously these 3D scans are just like kind of garbage geometry, especially in the back here. It's just like looks like hot nothing. So uh, once uh, once we have the density figured out, then I'm going to go in and throw in some mega scans. But yeah, right now I'm just throwing these plants all over the place. And I'm pretty happy with how it's looking so far. Looking sick, man. Thanks, dude. Yeah, there's just like so much, so much detail to get hung up on here. I know. It's crazy. Yeah. All right. Yeah, a little tip for my Blender users. Uh, if you have an object that you're duplicating a bunch around your scene, you're going to want to do Alt-D instead of Shift-D because Shift-D duplicates the object and makes it its own object. But, but Alt-D uh, just makes a new instance of the same object. So it only loads one of those objects into your memory when you're rendering and uh, when you're in the 3D viewport. So you're not like loading a ton of geometry into your render that like might max out your gpu you're just uh basically using the same object a bunch of times instead of a bunch of individual objects that are the same thing that's such a the good only tip. downside it's really nice um the only downside though is that if you want to edit the object you are basically editing all the objects so you have to go to object uh relations and make single user object and data and then you can edit that one object as its own object but it's a great great little tip for keeping your scenes clean and organized nice huh. you know looking at these scenes something i'm realizing is that they're very careful about where they put detail you know in this background here there's like almost no detail it's just like a few brush strokes whereas down here there's tons of little pins and needles of flowers and everything and i think that's purposeful to draw your eye away from the background and more towards the focus of the scene so that's kind of a challenge in 3d because you know if you just have nothing back there it's it's a realistic render so it's gonna look like you have nothing back there but if you have too much back there then it's going to be distracting so i think i might have to might have to just bring this into Photoshop after After Effects and do a little smudging and painting on top of the image. That'd be cool. 
yeah I, i've never really done that before but like me neither i feel like it could be actually really really sick to be able to do something like that yeah. especially with these totally people was doing that when he was over a corridor i know he's like the master of that stuff yeah <laughs> This is awesome. I am having a good time. I think I think my render is gonna take me like two streams to be able to do this. Oh no, dude, you can do it. I believe in you. All right, I'm trying. You just gotta get those bare bones. Yeah. Man, we both bite off more than we can chew. Like all, why do we <laughs> always do that? Because it kind of works. <laughs> yeah, isn't it sick to be like, oh, watch this. Like, check this out. Yeah. <laughs> it's like in Smash when you're like, uh, what, what was Dean saying last night? He was like, <laughs> when, when in Smash you say, watch this, and then you actually do something. Yeah. Like, that's the best feeling. <laughs> it's, it's just the greatest feeling. But that's, yeah. what, that's what got me killed in, the, in that first tournament when um, Sam killed himself. Oh, and I was like, in my head, I was like, wouldn't this be sick? And I jumped off and killed myself in a tournament. And I was like, dude, never again. <sighs> oh, no. <laughs> Clint. Yeah, so dumb. Never again. All right. I promise I'll have, like, a lot done when we come back to my screen. Awesome. Cool. I'm just this is just like foliage city over here. That's awesome. So yeah, dense. It's super cool. It's really nice like having multiple views was something I learned early on that helps so much is you like have your camera view and then you don't do like anything in your camera view unless you need to do it from the front on perspective. You just have like your separate navigation view, you know, where you're moving around and doing all your work and then you can see what's going to be in your final image at the same time. That's a really, really good point. And I love your layout. I think your layout is really nice. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely helpful for staying organized. Yeah, that's basically the, um, in Octane, you can uncheck the check camera option, which is so confusing. <laughs> um, Wait, what does that mean? <laughs> um, it basically is like what you have where you have a locked camera and you can see your edits in the camera's perspective. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's super helpful. Yeah, Octane's great. It has a, real, a lot of really nice features. I've been thinking about playing around with it. It's fun. Yeah, it's a good time. All right, let's see how this is looking. <laughs> Looks jank. Dude, I have like, I'm just like hacking through <laughs> all of these polygons. Same. Also, the scale of my scene is so whack. It's like the <laughs> the foreground is like tiny and the background is huge. <laughs> That's great. You know what? I should probably fix that. Ah, but whatever. Yeah, I'm looking at mine right now and I'm like, what is what is this? <laughs> I don't think it matters though. At least for what I'm doing right now. Mm hmm I'm gonna start throwing in some more lights so I can dial this in a little bit further. Looking real nice, man. Thanks, dude. All right, I'm almost, I'm almost ready to switch back over and show you. Sweet. Can't wait. How far I've come. Got to have my lights at like five gazillion percent. Yeah. You just have to blast your lights out like crazy. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's do five floppy.
When's the last time you like sat down? Constantly. Unbroken. <laughs> to like work on something like this. Dude, just freaking my short films been taking ages. I'm so ready to be done with it. Oh man. It's super exciting too though. Like you're close, right? Yeah, pretty close. Um very happy with how it's turning out. Just trying to freaking get to the finish line here. Yeah, your CG shots on that are ridiculous, man. They look so good. Thanks, man. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's a, a lot of like pre-planning for the VFX has helped a ton. I uh you know, I 3D scanned my actor well in advance, and I've just had that as, as, as I've been going. So anytime I, like, have an extra shot I just want to get offhand, yeah. you know, I just can do it. You know, as long as it's relatively obscured and you throw some camera shake in there. Just great having a 3D model of your actor. That's awesome. All right, so this is where this is where I'm at right now. I got my like windows in here, which is definitely taking it to the next level. Um, compared to the actual reference, you know, this is kind of like what it's looking at here. And I just realized, oh, there's like a wood piece here. That's why they don't have the. Oh, nice! That looks great. Let me just add that on as an extra piece. Yeah, it's just different like planes and boards and keep laying that stuff down. There's like extra details yeah. everywhere. Oh, it can get very daunting looking at these details. Seriously. Oh boy. Hmm. All right. So let's see. Let's maybe add this this wood plane in. That's basically just going to be a cube. Scaled down and like positioned up and I'll get to the texturing stuff. Do you texture like as you go or do you texture at the end or like how do you texture Peter? You know, I, I usually I try to texture at the end, but usually what ends up happening is I'll lose steam. And I, I, like, throw coals in the train engine by, like, making something that looks nice, Yeah, you know? Mm -hmm. totally. And so I'm like, I get to a certain point, I'm like, this sucks. <laughs> and so I'll, like, throw a texture on something, and I'm like, oh, that looks nice. And then I'm ready to keep going. I, that's, that is exactly what I do. That's <laughs> hilarious. Let me just get it's nice some... to encourage yourself once in a while. Yeah, absolutely. And that's exactly what we do right now because I'm going to get some lights <laughs> going in these scenes here. Um, probably just get some like soft lights. I'll make some octane lights here. Nice. Uh-oh, is it crashing? Dude, I think, oh. I think it's crashing. Oh, no. No, Clint. <sighs> All right. Back to you, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> cool. All right. Sweet, yeah, I'm just placing my lights. Dude, lighting is so freaking important in a render. Oh, yeah. Like, makes or breaks it. Oh, yeah, I love that soft look that you got. It's, like, almost like it's in a cave system or something. Yeah, I, I think a lot of what's making this look nice is that they have this volumetric light, you know, the blue light back here. So maybe I'll, I'll play with that real quick. It's going to freaking kill my computer but here goes oh cube. boy big cube that to viewport display wire let's add a little material make it volumetric dude volumetrics for me is like is my uh inspiration boost like I'll throw yeah. a volume, some like fog in there, and I'm like, all right, it's cool, it's cool. Like I still got it. <laughs> it yeah, it really helps bringing life to it. I I was playing. Have you played Half Life, Alex? No, I really want to. Dude, it's it's the most fun I've had playing a video game ever. It's an amazing experience. That's awesome. And yeah, uh, 
they just released a commentary version so you can go through and like there are little headphone objects that you can put up pick up and put on oh cool so you can like hear how they made it yeah and they were talking about volumetrics and it was such a challenge for them to get it to render in vr because you know you're rendering two games at the same time in vr one for each eye and so it's like super taxing on the system and it was like nearly impossible for them to get volumetric lighting working wow but once they did it it just like made their scenes feel so much more tactile and alive and playing back through the game it's so true like all the moodiness in those scenes are like a direct result of that volumetric lighting yeah it's all about the fog man it looks just looks so good yeah And this is looking jank, dude. <laughs> I think I got something. Oh, that's something. Hmm. It's a very soft light in this scene. Um, all right, it's starting to look all right. Okay, yeah, the fog definitely helped a lot just with the composition. Ah, but I'm getting my freaking light is casting. I gotta just move my light up higher. I want to switch my G. I'm I'm gonna switch my GPU. I'm gonna see if it breaks it. Uh oh. We'll find out. My headphones are uh <clears throat> are oh, dying so too. I have to switch. Oh no. Yeah, I have to switch uh headphones. Um, I'm gonna leave this call going. Let me just run and grab my bone phones. Um, sounds good, son. Keep it up, man. Keep uh. All right. Keep doing cool stuff. I'll be back in like two seconds. Heck yeah. All right, so we got our fog going right here, but once it renders in a little bit, you'll see that, let's change that to 100. So once this loads in, you'll see that I have a light right here that's kind of casting light right into the fog. I'm pointing at my screen, you can't see that. But we're getting, like you can see where the light starts and that's gonna look jank in the final render. So I just gotta, just gotta take this light and move it up a little bit. Fix that. Let's see here. Where's that thing? There she is. Just move that back. Turn it up. That should fix the problem. Dude, both of my headphones are dead. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I know, not good. Hopefully. When these die, I can grab the other ones that I'm charging now. Totally. Oh, baby. Okay, we got something like semi usable now. Semi. Emphasis on the semi. Uh oh. Oh. Your Discord. There it goes. Yep. <laughs> Back to CPU. <laughs> That's hilarious. I'm trying to get my colors right here. I'm trying to match these colors. The saturate to white can probably come down. Hmm. Oh, nice, Clint. Looking good. Yeah, I think I got to get like... This color temperature correct it's a little like white still i think could be in a few mm. different things but maybe it just needs to go a bit more towards that orange maybe it's a little bright still yeah i feel like that blue could go more towards purple more okay yeah that's good to know Whoa, <laughs> way too much. Ooh, dude, I, oh my, oh my God. God, I scanned like a, 
Dude, I crashed a cobblestone. No! <laughs> All right, back to you. Damn. I scanned this cobblestone wall one time. I think yeah. I'm just going to use that for these little uh these little thingy thingies. Ooh, see if nice. That works. Yeah, not bad. Okay. Let's bring that in. Are you starting to chug yet? Um, no. My, my scene or what? Yeah. No, I don't have enough stuff in my scene to chug yet. I'm still like working on the block mm. outs of all this stuff. Nice. Yeah, I mean, your scene is more like, like the block out's probably going to take more time because it's mostly just those blocks and not much like foliage or anything like that. Yeah. Yeah. Where's that cobblestone wall? There she is. All right, we got 826 people up in here right now. Still. Heck yeah. It's popping off, man. We're making Ghibli stuff. I'm using <laughs> uh I'm using C4D, Peter's using Blender. Um we're both making some different scenes. Yeah, it's a good time. Having a dang good time, my dude. Yeah. Ah, I'm not that gets Why is this transparent? Here. The heck? Dude, maybe it's still loading. Maybe it's like chugging super hard. Uh, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's in the viewport display. Color. Dude, alpha. Ren is here. He finally made <gasps> it. He's here! Ren, you are a moderator now. <laughs> <laughs> heck yeah. What's up, son? Ren's a mod. Yeah, dude. <laughs> He's like, I am? <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Dude, Ren, it's good to have you here. I, I wish you were on the stream with us. I know, seriously. It'd be crazy. I'd have to get a third window. Like, it'd be even oh crazier, dude. It'd be like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> we should do that. <laughs> yeah, 100%, dude. That would be amazing. We should get like five people and hire somebody to switch between us. Dude, that'd be great. Oh, you died again, God Peter. damn it. I wasn't even using my GPU. Dude, it's, we're using all the computer juice right now. Okay, that's it. I'm switching to my GPU. If, I, if I'm going to die without my GPU, then I'm going to die with it. Let me try switching the stream to... Um, stream settings. Can I change stream settings midstream? I don't know. I don't think so. Dang. Oh my god, I have the perfect thing. Wait, what? <laughs> oh my god, I literally took a different photo scan of a fire pit in my backyard. Yeah. This one's on my Patreon, and it's like the exact shape I need. It's perfect. That's amazing. That's like you can come across like the perfect, the perfect asset. The perfect asset. Dude, my computer's like blowing up. <laughs> oh no. Why can't I render this, dude? Screw it. I'm gonna just keep building. I'll just keep building. <laughs> Oh, it was transparent because I have freaking uh, the transparent mode turned on. Dude, that's your answer. <laughs> um, Ren says he wants to see your workflow using your uh, your LiDAR photo scans. Oh, dude. I mean, me too. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't done anything with that yet. The but, potential for that is crazy, though. Honestly, maybe I'll make a tutorial for that. I mean, it's I don't even know if that warrants a tutorial. It's like the easiest thing in the world. I mean, dude, that'd be cool. Like a full the full workflow. Yeah, maybe. Definitely cleaning it up would be nice to know. But yeah, for those of you who don't know, if you have an iPhone 12 uh, Pro, maybe? 
I'm not sure exactly which one it is. It's the one with LiDAR scanning. You can use the LiDAR scanner to basically do a real-time um, like photogrammetry, like 3D scanning. It's amazing. You use this app called Polycam, and you just like walk around an environment with your phone, and it scans it in real time. It's crazy. That's so cool. I can't wait to use it for anything. I haven't used it for anything yet, but I'm very excited. All right, looks like our texture is a bit jank here. Dude, not my headphones died again. What the heck, dude? Man, what the heck? Can you hear me? Oh. Clint's headphones died. That's tragic. R.I.P. Dude, all my headphones are dead. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> all of Clint's headphones are dead. Can you hear me? This is tragic. I can't hear you. Wow. Let me see if I can borrow some headphones. I'll be back. Peter, keep doing your thing, dude. You're rocking it. You're crushing this right now. I'll be back. All right. Oh man, these cobblestone walls are the little fire pit asset. It's on my Patreon if you want to snag that. It's going to work so well. Heck yeah. I'm going to pull this 3D scan down a bit. There we go. Maybe this one as well. I see the end of that cobblestone. There we go. Let's see how we're looking here. All right. Nice. I'm very happy with how this is looking so far. Heck yeah. Definitely have a lot of work to do. But where the heck is my ground, son? All right, Peter, can you can you hear me? I can hear you, Clint. All right, I just have you on speakerphone. Oh, okay, cool. Hopefully you'll be quiet enough so that you're not picked up on the mic. Yeah. Why the heck is my ground all the way down there? What the heck happened? <clears throat> lots of lots of freaking tech to to work when you're doing a dual stream like this like definitely a good learning yeah. experience for me I, the next one will be even better this one's awesome by the way like don't think it's <laughs> lacking really in much of anything <laughs> what the fuck okay this is jank something happened i gotta re-import my I think you're frozen again. Ground. I'm frozen? I think so. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I just want to use my GPU. All right, so I'm I'm basically here trying to get these windows popping off. Um let's see if I can't extrude inner here or maybe even spawn a What do we want to grab? Maybe we'll spawn a hold control. Bless you. <laughs> if you hold control, it'll actually spawn like an object onto the area where uh, the object you have selected is selected. So you can see how I made this cube basically right on this little hut area right here. All right, Peter, you're back. Heck yeah. I'm just making a little windowsill here. I'm still like 
still blocking out all this stuff, man. It just takes forever with all this detail and geometry. And I'm hitting N on my keyboard, N, and then you can see A, B, C, and D are my different shading modes. So I was in N, A, which was really hard to see things because it's accounting for the light. So I'm hitting N, B, that'll bring up my wireframe mode, but it still has the light. N, C takes all the lighting out, and N, D is all the lighting out with wireframe on. And uh, <laughs> Josh, thanks for the super chat, dude. What do you mean Ren uses Blender? I don't Ren think does Ren use Blender. Has ever installed Blender. He um he told me he's really ashamed about it, and I said there's nothing to be ashamed of. He'll like like when Jenna goes to sleep, he'll he'll like sneak into the computer room and start using Blender. Oh, for real? Yeah. Dang, dude, that's crazy. Like. Yeah, he has a lot of shame surrounding it, but uh, you know, I I tell him there's nothing to worry about. He said, "Hey, don't out me, dude." <laughs> <laughs> dude, Ren, it's cool, man. Like you can you can ask for help with this stuff. Totally. All right, I got my window so going. <sighs> dude, my ground plane got all jacked up, son. Dude, everything's all jacked up for me. Just trying to freaking make a window sill. I'm starving too. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty hungry too. All right, Peter, if you can get something that you are proud of at the end of this, then we can call it. Because I think you're going to get course. there first. Uh, I don't know, man. I believe in you. I'm working. I'm, 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 I'm going hard. Maybe I'll do the low poly version. Oh, that'd be cool. Okay, I think I got my ground plane like relatively fixed. Here. It's like fine, I guess. Okay, cool. All right, what to do next? I should probably start working on this grass. Yeah. The grass? Here, I'm going to switch to Okay, you. I just got this plugin called Graswald for Blender. I've never used it, but I've heard it's awesome. So let's see here. Let's install that. So how, like, where do you find your Blender plugins? There's a website called Blender Market, and it just has everything you'd ever want. It's wonderful. It has a bunch of models and plugins and even tutorials and stuff like that. It's great. Nice. What am I even looking for? Oh, yeah. Under, let's see here. Griswold. It was probably on my... There we go. Dandy Floss. Yo, thanks for the super chat. Got you with the content, man. Yeah, it's super fun. If you guys like this, if you like doing these uh these group streams, let me know. Um, cause we'll do more of them. I'd love to have our boy Ren on eventually. Hell Maybe see yeah. if Ian is down to come on. We can do a freaking oh, super stream. Great. Dude, I'd love to do another one of these. This is super uh super fun. Yeah. Okay, let's see if I can figure out how to use this plugin real time on the stream. Create new settings. Okay. Dude, that's always um, the most stressful. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of plants. <gasps> Blender is chugging. Station. Oh my god, dude, there's group? a freaking balcony. I forgot there's a balcony on this thing. Oh, oh man. Home more. Yo, thanks for the super chat, man. Um, yeah, the deep fake video comes out tomorrow. It's going to be nuts on Corridor. Uh, we all work super hard on it to bring uh, Mr. Luke Skywalker back to life. 
Heck yeah. Dude, I'm so excited for that to come out. I know. I know. It was a really, really cool experience. Um, Nico's just so good with all the deep fake stuff and he like taught us a lot, helped us, yeah. um, you know, guide us through the whole process and we filmed, we had to like film, refilm it. You guys will see. You, you'll see. <laughs> it was a very enlightening experience. Definitely. All right. So I'm just going through, I'm painting where I want the grass to be. Graswald seems pretty sweet so far. Pretty easy to use. Still uses a particle system, but I think it just does a lot of the work for you of changing the settings in there. And I don't know, maybe it does some custom stuff too. Let's find out. What's the longest time you've ever spent on a shot, Peter? Probably when I was working on that Spider-Man short film back in the day. I was just like sleeping at corridor, pulling all-nighters left and right. <laughs> and like spending way too much time on each shot. I just like wanted to die. But it was worth it, man. Like the passion definitely comes you? through. That's nice to hear. I'm glad. What about you? The longest I spent on a shot was definitely like a month for the Parallel Dimensions one. Damn, yeah. Dude, that one was awesome. It's a great looking shot. Thanks, it's man. Like movie quality. I never, I've never spent that long on a shot before. And like, it was really cool to be able to do that and like put points yeah, how'd it into feel? that. Yeah, that's super sweet. Wait, can you still hear me? Yeah, I can hear you on the phone. Okay, dope. And I hear you on the stream. Okay, great. Yeah, that must have been fun. I, I want to participate in the next one. Dude, you should, man. It's, uh, I learned so much while doing it, too. Heck yeah. Okay, I think this should work. Right? Why did... Huh. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now my headphones are dying. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're we're doing it. We're still going hard. Um, we're making Ghibli renders, and uh, you know, it's certainly certainly a lot of work involved in doing this. It's just a ton of ton of block out stuff, ton of modeling, ton of texturing. But it's nice to have a friend um doing this with. Um, so Peter, if you can hear me in the stream, <laughs> I just lost you on the phone. You have to call me back so I can hear you again. Let's see if I can't get like a banister going. All right. So maybe what we'll do is we'll make a cube. Yeah. Hey, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, sweet. All right, yeah, my AirPods died. Yeah, I realized when I was charging my headphones, they weren't even charging. I was like, oh, no. Oh, oh, God. Dude, these bone phones blow my mind. They're so cool. Do you have some right now? Yeah, I'm wearing them. Oh, did you just get some? Yeah, my mom got them for me for my birthday. It was really sweet. Oh, dude. Yeah, they're great. I, I got a switch. I got the bone phones. Next step, one wheel. Heck yeah, dude. Do you really think you're going to get one? A one wheel? Yeah. I don't know, man. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. I just want electric rollerblades. That's all I want. Oh, dude. Heck yeah. That'd be super sick. <laughs> all right, so I'm just going to clone this thing across the way here. Boom, linear cloner. We'll go this way. I'm just looking at the reference here. It just kind of goes all the way across. Then always set your stuff to multi-instance. That way 
you get the most out of your computer for the yeah, least totally. input. All right, that totally works. And I don't think I need it on the other side. I think I'm just going to do... Let's see. I'll duplicate this stuff here. Control drag up and smoosh it down. We can always bevel this stuff after the fact, but you definitely want to bevel though because you'll catch the light in a really nice way and you don't want to miss out on that. Whoa, this Greswold stuff is really cool. All right, what are you working on, Peter? Dude, I'm just freaking getting this grass going, son. Heck it's yeah, like your foreground sweet. stuff. Yeah. Nice. So you're you're kind of you're getting close. Yeah, we're getting there. I, I don't I don't know if I would say close, but we're definitely coming along. Populating it with grass and stuff. It's just oof, this is gonna be quite a beastly little render here. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Density, let's turn that up to 20. See how that looks. Oh, baby. Seriously, man, tell me about it. <laughs> wow, I think that's looking good. It's just noise. <laughs> so hard to tell. It looks no, nice though, man. I think you see like a variation of grass, right? Yeah, yeah, totally. It's it's pretty uniform right now. Let's see. My volumetric cube. I'm gonna turn that off. See if that helps at all. Oh god, that's so much better. Okay, yeah, this is just like mush right here. Dude, I want to like sit on that. It feels like really nice. <laughs> Variant. Oh, what the heck? Probably a good idea to learn like a uh, software before you like go live using it. <laughs> Dude, I have been there, man. Oh yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Play as weird LOD. Oh, oh, you can use LODs. That's amazing. <laughs> Viewport low workbench. That's uh, amazing. Winslow's asking what Ghibli art is. It's basically uh, there's a there's a company in Japan called Studio Studio Ghibli, and they make movies like Spirited Away or How's Moving Castle or Totoro. Just Google it and you'll be like, oh, I've seen these before. They're amazing mm -hmm. movies, man. They're some of the best. It's like each frame in that movie is just like a new incredible painting. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Marcelo is asking what LOD is. You want to explain LOD that, Peter? LOD yeah, that stands for level of detail. It's most commonly used in video games. Like, you'll notice sometimes uh, if you're, like, walking through a forest, you see a tree in the background, and as you get, like, a little bit closer to it, it kind of pops into a higher quality version, and then once you get really close to it, it pops into the highest quality version. And that's just so that your video game or your CG scene isn't having to render the highest quality, like, most taxing versions of the assets at the same time, always. It can kind of blend things in and out of quality to save your computer from having to render all that. And you can do that with CGI too. You know, you have a, a version of your asset that's just like one square with the picture on it, and then that's for like super far away. And then once it gets a little bit closer, it switches to a very low polygon, and then it just keeps increasing in polygons until you're right next to it. It's just a nice way to save your performance. Yeah. Very crucial when like, you know, you're you have those larger scenes, you know? If you're doing something small, it doesn't it's not that big of a deal, but when you got 
mm-hmm. larger scenes going. It's it's really nice to use that. And like we we kind of talked about an hour ago about like using 2K textures until you need to upgrade to a 4K texture or an 8K texture. Um, mm-hmm. That's like another way of kind of doing it manually. You're using the lower level of detail until you need to manually switch to the higher level of detail. Um, totally. Yeah. All right, Peter, keep going. I'm so hungry. I'm going to grab a cookie. I'll be back. <laughs> All right, man. Let's p- compute number of particles using plants per square meter instead of usual density. Huh. Oh. Man, I'm just trying to figure out Graswald. This is a really cool software, but I also have no idea how to use it. So we're kind of figuring that out. Species. Should I change the species? Orchard grass? Hmm. Variant. Ooh, that's cool. Can you, like, add? Hmm. Does anybody know how to, for Graswald, to add multiple... Oh, you know what? It's the outliner. You probably add another one. Boom, there we go. Create new settings. Oh, okay, species. Let's do freaking... I don't have flowers. Dang. Weeds. God, my computer is chugging. Curly dock, dandelion. Oh, they do have flowers. Nice. Okay. Heck yeah. Do some dandelions. Do some freaking dandelions. Okay, I'm going to turn down this grass a little bit because it's super dense. All right, turn down that size a little bit. Yo, yo. Yo, yo, yo. How's your cookie? I mean, it's about to be great. (laughs) Nice. Mm. I'm going to turn the grass off so we can just see the dandelions, density, paint. Oh, nice. We can paint exactly where we want the dandelions. Perfect. Okay, so do like some right here. And just let's make this easier to see, huh? Let's do a horizontal split of the viewport. And we can look at this through here. And then look at the reference on top. Okay, so we want some dandelions around there. Maybe a little over here. Some over here. Then do some of that. Turn down the weight, add a little bit more variety. So we want like, we don't want it to be like all dandelions and then no dandelions. We want kind of a gradient of dandelions going around. Cool, so then I'm going to turn the weight up a bit more. Go in here to where they're very dense, kind of the focus of the scene. And paint that right there. Kind of really focus this area on the flowers. Maybe add some more density right here. Sweet. Okay, let's see how that looks. Go back into object mode. And Graswald, where are you at? Okay. Recalculate density. There we go. All right. Let's turn up that density. Turn up the size a little bit. What's up, Chris? Thanks for the super chat, man. Drink for Peter. Thanks for joining. Yeah. Heck yeah. Evolver's uh, always watching the streams, man. Dude, Thank you, Evolver. Peter, That's very kind. It's so good to have 
Someone else on this stream, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> Being able to switch over every once in a while. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Man. All right. Hmm. I would love to like push these into the ground a little bit. Length. Oh, length. Oh. <gasps> length. Oh, that's really cool. What happened? Oh. Huh. I just you can uh in Graswald, which is this like foliage plugin, you can create uh like a vertex paint thing for the length. So you can paint areas where you want the plants to be longer and shorter. Which nice, is heck yeah. Sweet. Let's see if that works. So let's do that, and then that, and then that. See if that does anything. Oh, it works. That's super sweet. But it changes the scale, not the length, which is no bueno for us. Can you... Graswald dandelion. Heck yeah. Okay. So if I go in here, trash the length, and then can I just move this down? <gasps> yes! <laughs> it works. Okay, so let's just select all of these little dandelions. Move that down into the ground. Heck yeah, son. All right, now we're talking. Aw, that's so sweet. Kaylee brought me some fruit. Thanks, Gil. Oh, dude, that's great. Mm. Mm mm mm. Hmm. So right, let's see how we're looking. What um, which which Ghibli movies have you seen? I have seen Howl's Moving Castle. That's a good one. Away. And uh, My Neighbor Totoro, and I'm halfway through Princess Mononoke. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's a really so good far, one. So far, I've. Um, my neighbor Totoro was like not my favorite. I enjoyed it, but it it wasn't like gripping to me. Yeah. But Howl's Moving Castle and Spirited Away were just mm, so good. Yeah, absolutely incredible. So Spirited good. Away was the first one I saw. Mm hmm Yeah. It's I'm so happy they're all on uh HBO Max now. Yep. You can just roll through them. Oh, dude, Porco Rosso is great. Yeah, Porco Rosso is one of my oh, favorite. Oh, I want to watch that. It's good. And then you got to watch, uh, like, I think one of the most fun Ghibli movies is uh, mm -hmm. Lupin the Third. It's about, like, Wait, a, spy, that again? a gentleman spy. And it's so good. Oh, that's awesome. Or he's a thief. Damn, I got to watch that. Yeah, it's great. All right, so I'm just throwing in my flowers now. Add a little more density. Turn up the size. Cool. Okay, let's see how that works. This Graswald plugin is wonderful. That's awesome. Heck yeah. All right. Oh, those flowers look great. Dude. Awesome. That's super nice. Yeah. Okay. You know what I'm going to do is I am going to show only my ground plane, and I'm going to take these dandelions and I'm going to change the material so each instance of it has a random color. So we can like select the color palette from the screenshot here. Oh, that's awesome. So let's split the view, go into the shader editor. And I'm going to select the dandelion flower material. 
Oh wow, this is a really intense material, oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, so... Color... Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, good God. That's advanced, dude. <laughs> There's so much shit. Okay, I think I know what I have to do, though. I'm just going to add hue changers right in front of each of where the colors are coming out of. Okay, this is... Oh, that's the normal map. Don't want to screw with that. This is color, color old. Oh, what up, Cliff? Cliff here? Yeah, Cliff's here. Hell yeah, what's up, Cliff? Good We're going to hang out man. tonight. Oh, nice. What are you guys going to do? I'll probably get into some drumming, maybe some 3D modeling. Oh, nice. Is Cliff doing 3D stuff? Yeah, he's, he's learning Blender. Oh, that's awesome. Dude, Cliff, hit me up. Yeah, we were, I was showing him one of your tutorials on like how to do HDRIs and stuff. Oh, awesome. Yeah, Cliff's son. What up, son? <clears throat> he says, show me the ways. <laughs> I'm almost done cutting out all of the holes for like my uh my windows and stuff. Nice. It's just taking a minute. Yeah. Okay, let's see if this is working like at all. You want a random value. Um they say uh Graswald has settings to change the colors. <laughs> <laughs> well that's awesome dude it's so great having like help as you work yeah seriously i've learned so much doing it this way like legit yeah you can change those make it look dry what this is awesome you can change the yeah, yeah cg studio we get it we get it you can change the age of the grass and make it look dried um that is so in cool. the age settings too Age settings. Maybe in material. <gasps> what? Oh my god, it's just a freaking slider, dude. For age? Yeah, that's amazing. Percentage. Using this uh grass. Let's see. Material show albedo only. Well, that's helpful. Hmm. I don't know if this has. The function to randomize the color that I can see. Not quite sure. You guys know where this random color thing is. Let Peter know. Um, it says use a color that's ramp cool. and a random inputter into the vector. Yeah, that's the original plan. I'm going to go back to that. Um, they say it, it has advanced settings too. Yeah. That's advanced settings? I think this thing has everything. Okay, advanced settings. Anybody know where the advanced settings are? The secret advanced settings. Yeah, what the heck? Uh, it says a checkbox. The checkbox. Checkbox. Overall settings, scene settings, sun. Edit preferences add-on. Oh. It's in there. Oh, wow. Under materials, okay. advanced settings. Wait. Material. How am I not seeing this? Oh, it's probably the materials tab, maybe. 
Let's prove the polygon material can play. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, maybe it's in this. Dude, I don't freaking know. All right. I'm just going to do the nodes. All right, I'm going to switch back over here. Nice. All right, so I am using booleans to cut out little areas for the uh, the light to shine through. I'm just trying to make sure I have like an edge here. That it has like something to shine. Just, just a little edge, you know, just to catch the light in a nice way. Boom, and then uh, I'll just make this editable and combine all this stuff. And then just delete these faces here. And that'll open it up to the inside. Then I'll just put some lights in there. Cool, let me drop those down. Yeah, sweet, and just light up the room like that. And it looks like the bottom is open, so I gotta close that up. So if you do, let's see, let's select this and hit MD, the way I think of it is like a medical doctor, and he's patching holes. So that's how you patch a hole, MD. That's the shortcut, boom, close it up. And we'll go back to camera view. And it's coming together. Certainly coming together. You can lock your uh, your render view here in Octane. Make sure you save. Big Gangry. Welcome. You got off work just in time. Yeah, we're doing the dual stream. Peter, you still got dudes like looking up Grasswald for you. Oh, no way. Yeah, he That's says if so you nice. open the Grasswald webpage, they say you can change color, saturation, and more settings, but maybe it's only in the pro Oh, version. I do not, not have the pro yeah. version, so maybe that's it. We're figuring it out. Dude, my computer is like working so hard to do all this stuff at once. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, same. Oh my god, and you're streaming. That's intense. All right, let's see. We can, yeah, we can lock the viewport here, and you should be presented with some numbers. There we go. And then you can like, lower this down and see your whole image. It looks like we need to see a little bit more of the left or the right side. I'm going to move our camera over. Just zoom out maybe a little bit. Yeah, that works. These lights are too bright too. And cut these guys down.
and the roof tile like let's just try and make those roof tiles like really reflective what if we take down the roughness we just take it off completely we look at the specular make sure that's yep up 1.3 okay Maybe we just control the roughness on its own. Let me boost that up. And maybe we load in an actual HDRI image here. So let's let's give that a shot. Instead of a color, let's like actually do a sky or something. So hmm, I duplicated the octane sky, and whichever one's on top is the HDRI that will be present. So I'll switch over to an image. And we'll load some HDRI Haven textures. Where are you? There you are. Skies. Cool. And we'll just try these out. That's obviously way too bright. And let's try and rotate it around. and and dim it down like a by a bunch but honestly i, I kind of like what we had before i didn't i thought just a color wasn't that bad actually because essentially it is just a really super overcast sky like that is the look and feel you can come in here and like add some stuff uh later in Photoshop or whatever, but like this is this really is like the look and feel of what we're trying to go for. Um, Yugen, yeah, this will stay uploaded when we're done streaming for sure. Yeah, everyone, I do this every Saturday. They all uh, all on my YouTube, on my YouTube page. What's up, fruit juice? Fruit Good juice. He's a regular. Heck yeah. Ben, why am I using reference? Man, you always got to use reference. That's how you get to what you're getting to probably in the fastest, most accurate way. It'll really guide the process, especially if you're trying to go for stuff like um, if you're trying to go for stuff that's based off of something or is trying to feel like real life, you always want to reference it, man. That's like, you save yourself so much time and it really def helps define what you're creating. So I recommend you use reference for everything. Um, pure ref is a great program. It's allowing me to keep my image always on top. So it's super cool. Yeah, it's so easy to go askew when you're working on something, you know, you, you just get so up in your own head of how it should look and kind of lose sight of what it should actually look like. Yeah, absolutely. You kind of like get stuck and you go off on a tangent and like realize, wait, I went all the way out this way and it didn't work. But sometimes like that's cool. Like sometimes you do want to like try ideas. Um, that's true. But yeah, use reference when you can. How are you feeling about your piece right. right now, Peter? Dude, good. I got these flowers going. Check it out. Let's see. I think your I think your your video's frozen again. No. <laughs> no, it should work. It, it's looking good in Discord. Really? Yeah. I think. Well, anyway, people can still hear you and they can still see you. Okay, let me uh I'll stop streaming and go again. There it is. They they want to know where you got the name Gunga. Here, wait till your wait till your video comes back and then you got to explain it. Okay. No.
Oh, there's no audio either. Yeah, you died. All right, Peter will be back, guys, in a second. All right. There's so much more to be done in this image, man. It's like there's a lot of haziness going on here um, that we need to take care of. Like, I think you can probably do this in, you know, in After Effects probably, or not After Effects, but Photoshop. You can get some of this haze down. But really, we got to just spend a ton of time getting these, like, Getting these textures looking good, man. <clears throat> All right, am I working? Yeah, we see you. Sweet. All right, Riley. Wait, can they hear me? Yeah, I hear. Yeah, I, I see you. You got levels. Okay, great. Yeah, can we explain this? To you? Okay, so this is Gunga. You're explaining this to our stream audience. Awesome. <laughs> um, where am I? Uh, you are. No, <laughs> I'm not here. Here. It's a video. What is this like milk toast background? Do you need me to bring in a plant or something? <laughs> All, right. All right. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Riley Olson. I am Peter's um, sassy, untalented gay roommate, uh, housemate. Uh, get out of here. Get... Untalented? Shut up. I'm also really good at fishing uh, for compliments. Uh, but no, so um, everyone knows Star Wars and our favorite, The Phantom Menace. Um, and there are the Gungans. Uh, but in, in, in a specific interview, George Lucas calls them Goongas, <laughs> which is funny. Um, but I was joking with uh, Peter and I's friend Matt once, and we were quoting Jar Jar Binks, you know, yes, the classic. Um, how wooed, like, <laughs> Misa wa or like, Misa gonna go home. Um, and at some point we're quoting him, and I just say, Misa gonna sniff a ya gunga. <laughs> God, dude. As one does. <laughs> so, um that happens um and then matt says i'm sorry you want to do what and he's like you, you know the jar jar quote where he says me so want to sniff a yaganga he wants to sniff your ganga um so things just yeah kept well, going from there it was at my place we were in my room watching things on my projector well, and i was like is that actually a scene from the movie oh yeah so matt and i came up with this without <laughs> peter and then we told peter that it's an actual line from the movie obviously and they were like search for it on youtube yeah he search says it, it he says it to liam neeson he says he wants to sniff Liam Neeson's Gunga, but so humans don't have Gungas. <laughs> Ten minutes trying to find this on He's YouTube. To find you, the guys, you guys just let me try. Do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, we um so I think eventually it spilled that 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 is not a line. Did you pull up a script too? <laughs> no, I just tried to find it on you YouTube. Have. I was like uh, Gunga sniffing Gunga, scene. <laughs> Gunga sniffing scene. <laughs> so it became a lore that there is, I want to say a gland or a body part <laughs> called the Gunga. That, or, or a material, it's kind of a, a catch-all word. Yeah, you really don't know what it is or where it is mm -hmm. that um, <laughs> people want to sniff. <laughs> so Gunga sniffing became a thing. Um, mm -hmm. And then it also became a, a catch-all term for like... Disgusting. Things that are gross. Uh -huh. Like definitely if there's like some gross stuff like in a pot or something, just like look at that Gunga in there. <laughs> And then there's also the cinematic, the Gunga Cinematic Universe, which is an IP we're starting to tr trying true. to get started with Gungopolis. Gungopolis. Yeah. Wait, you have to, what's the line? Welcome, dude. To Peter. Gungopolis. You need to make that scene in Blender. Dude. Um, I... <gasps> we should make that in Blender. So welcome <laughs> to Gungopolis. Like deleted what does Gungopolis scenes. Look like. I yeah. deleted scene. Oh, you mean the Star yeah. Wars scene? Oh my god, we can mocap it and everything. Get Riley in the mocap suit. <laughs> Riley is very familiar with that mocap suit. I he, am. He played the CG character. This is Scooty, by the I'm way. I'm Scooty from uh, the titular role in. Uh, <laughs> Wait, is the same dude who Scooty. had his head blown uh, up which is in your tutorial? Don't you, have you, yes. you put Gunga into different things in Scooty? Yeah, it's it's in the background of like every shot. Yeah, well, because there's Gunga Corp. That was the first uh -huh. one you said you'd had to add was a billboard. That's and like then Gunga. there's Gunga Air on the air. <laughs> 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 it's just so good. But, uh, yeah, Riley made that mocap suit real stinky. Hey! I had to wash Rough, it. Rough, dude. <laughs> Jesus. A, I was uh, the only person wearing it, and B, we were doing a lot of physical activity. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, Good right, times, I man. We better get back to Blender. Yeah, so, um, so um, thank you, everyone, for listening to the tale of uh, the Gunga. <laughs> Thanks for the story. Thanks, uh, Good Thanks, stuff, dude. dude. All right, where are we at, man? What, what's, like, I, there's no way I'm finishing this. There's no way Dude, I'm finishing this. 
I believe in you. You got this. Dude, if I had all day, but I don't have all day. There's just, so much I, to do. Here, look. I'm going like, to be so bummed if you don't finish your thing. This is where I'm at. Like, this looks like... This is so bad. This is like the beginning of... The end. Wait, I can't even... Uh, the stream is so delayed, I can't it's, even see it's it. It's like, it's, it's, it just needs so much more work at this point. Like, it's craziness. Okay, Where are you see. at? Hmm. Oh, hold on. I, gotta, uh, okay, I have to see. watch your stream. Hold on one second. One second. All right. There we are. We're getting there. We're definitely getting there. It's not perfect. It's definitely needs a lot of work. I know. But it's coming along. It's coming along. It looks really good, yeah. though, dude. Thanks, man. Yeah, I appreciate that. Like, what? Dude, what's left to do? What's up? In your eyes on this. Yeah, I mean, I gotta take these flowers, gotta populate them everywhere else. I gotta add the little dude in there, which won't be too hard. But then it's it's pretty much from here, it's just detail and lighting and little visual tricks to get it to look good. And it's that thing where, like, I've already done 80% of the work, but that last 20% is gonna take, like, 80% of my time, you know? Yep, that's, that's it, dude. Yeah. That's freaking it. Wait, did somebody just send $1,000? No, it's Huff. What is Huff? I don't know. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> that'd be insane. No, that'd be crazy. I, I I used to think, I was like, oh my god, a thousand dollars. I think it's, um, I think it's like two bucks or something. Because like, basically it's mm. like, if you send five bucks, it'll be up for five minutes. If you send ten, it'll be for ten minutes. You know, that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah. gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That's cool. But man, I really appreciate all these super chats from you guys. You guys are really yeah. going hard. Um, thank you so much. Hell Samu, yeah. I see you. Um, yeah, it's Hungarian Forens. That's what Huff is, I guess. Oh, that's what okay. Saying. Yeah. Dude. Nice. That's awesome. That's super nice. Yeah. We'll have to go yeah, and like, get a really here. nice steak dinner together. <laughs> Dude, I'm so done. <laughs> so... Let's say we take the next like the next thirty minutes to do what we can here, mm -hmm. and then if you still have time, um, we can hop in and um, judge the top five winners for the color contest, like all those images I was showing you yesterday. Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Sure. Sweet. So yeah, let's let's do that. Let's say like it um, in thirty minutes, we'll hop into that. But let's just keep pushing on on our renders here and see how far we can get them. Sweet. Love it. Cool. All right, I'm going to throw on these headphones. Let me see if these headphones work now. Cool. Yo, can you hear me? God, it's not working. <laughs> Peter, say something. <laughs> God dang it. Why is it not working on my phone, dude? I'm going to call you back. I'm going to call you back, all right? Oh, no. Nothing. Let me try some other headphones. All right, I'm going to add another Graswald system here. This is just too fun. Oh. Blender says, no! Blender says, spare me! What's up, son? Yeah, it works now. Cool. Let me switch you to my Aftershocks. All right. 
Yo, we got Mr. Dinklewinkle up in here. He's one of the mods on the Discord server. And up here in the chat. So shout outs. We're going to spend the next 30 minutes here um, and make our renders look really nice. And then we're going to go into the the weekly challenge winners and announce the next challenge. So that's that's where we're at right now. Peter, can you hear me? All good? Uh, I'm working on it. Okay. There we go. Hey. Yo. Clint? Yo. All right. Cool, cool, cool. So much to be done. Alrighty, I'm going to add some, seriously, add some red clovers here. All right, I'm going to switch back to my end here. Sweet, do it. Bam. Yeah, we still, 700 people still up in here, dude. Like, it is awesome. Woo! Heck yeah. Try to keep the entertainment value up as much as we can. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. All right, so for my render here, I got a bunch of like windows that I'm trying to fill in now. I got all these empty little spots here. So I'm going to go in and fill up in all, fill all these like window frames in. Um, try and populate this with as much of that as possible. And then I'm probably going to go in and start working on like some of these wooden beams. I'll start bringing in some assets from, from Quixel and stuff. So nice. Heck yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just go quick and dirty, dude. Yeah. All right. Boom, get these windows in the right spot here. Peter, what's your favorite part with uh, with creating and rendering stuff? Favorite part? That's a great question. Damn. I've been getting really into lighting recently. Nice, It's so man. fun. It's crazy how much you can change a scene based on the light. You know, you can give it a completely different f feel without, like, doing anything besides changing the position of the lights. Yeah, yeah. I definitely agree with you on that, man. Lighting is everything. Um, and you can spend so long on lighting, too. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, honestly. Yeah, lighting. And I love making things look real, like texturing things really nice. Feels so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what's your favorite part? I'd say the surface imperfections and texturing. Um, and then like being able to change the lighting at the end of your piece and get different looks mm. from it. Totally, totally. Yeah, yeah. It's three D art. Three D art is nice in that way that you can always just make a scene, and then you have like infinite iterations you can make. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Which is pretty nuts, actually, with crypto art because you can just do different versions of your scene, like different weather patterns and stuff. Oh man, yeah, totally. Are you? Do you think you're gonna get into that? I don't know. Maybe. It's uh. Maybe. I'm not quite sure. It's it's definitely not like calling my name super hard, but it would be nice to make some moolah, you know? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I know I really want to get into it. I'm like itching to get in. I got I finally got accepted on one of the sites. Oh, heck yeah, dude. That's awesome. Yeah. Um so I'm just waiting for my acceptance on on the other ones before I get stuff going, mm -hmm. so um yeah. Yeah. Totally. Nice. That's going to be super fun. Yeah, agreed. Um, so Samu says, I was playing with my friend, um, so couldn't catch much of the last hour. Dang, you guys are fast and awesome at 3D. Can you bring someone in with 3DS Max next time? Oh. No offense. Grab says. Nico. <laughs> yeah, Nico or Sam or uh, even Ren mm -hmm. was in 3DS Max for a minute. 
Ja. I'm gonna start bringing in some trees. Ooh. I bought a nice tree pack from Blender Market. Oh, for real? Mm-hmm. Which one? It's like a... It's just like a... Like trees. Oh, nice. Freaking Discord crapped out. Oh, again. <laughs> well, I got it down to a science now, turning it back on. Cool. Yeah, we see you. Sweet. Dude, Cliff's back. Heck yeah. So, Peter, do you, do you play any uh, traditional instruments? Sort of. I, I mostly just play the computer, you know, <laughs> as far as music. Definitely. But, uh, but I play a little drums, a little keyboard, and a little guitar. <laughs> nice. I'm not good at any of them, but I can like mess around on all of them. Like just enough to like get something in the computer. Yeah, yeah, or like jam out. Heck yeah. Yeah. What about you? You play drums, right? Yeah, I play drums. Cliff plays drums. Cliff also plays uh, nice. guitar and bass. But yeah, I'm I'm drums and a little bit of bass, a little bit of piano. So we're gonna we're gonna hang out tonight and just like play some music and. Do some 3D oh, that's modeling. awesome, dude. Yeah. That's going to be fun as heck. Oh, yeah. You ever think you'll get into, like, making music? Yeah, I think I think later in life, I'd like to actually make some ambient music, maybe some electronic music. Oh, that would be sweet. You should definitely do that. Yeah, man, it'd be super fun. So, man, yeah, this is just tedious placing windows like over and <laughs> over and over you got this son yeah yes so when you guys are doing your 3d art you just got to stick with it you know um an hour a day just knocking out different pieces of art you know keep keep at it for sure mm -hmm. it's also nice to get a nice uh blend of spending a lot of time on stuff and spending a little of time on stuff yeah. You know, you have like a a bunch of little tiny projects to keep you going and then every once in a while you devote a little more time to something something nicer so you flex all those muscles, you know. Yeah, dude, that's why I love like having so many different hobbies honestly. Um Totally. It just allows me to you know, to stay interested in all, in all the different stuff I'm doing. Um Mhm. Mm yeah, or different little projects. As long as you finish your stuff, you just got to finish your stuff really. Yeah, that's the hardest part. Mm -hmm. All right, got my first tree in here. I'm going to switch over to you. All right. Oh, it's on Discord. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Here we go. There we go. Got it. Share screen. <laughs> there you are. I see you. All right, let's get you pulled up here. Bam, yeah, you're in. Sweet. Okay. We got our reference image on the left here. We got our scene on the right here. I'm going to switch over to material preview so we can see easier what's going on. Got to let the shaders compile a little bit. Sweet, okay. So right now, I'm just gonna place these trees in here. Although this is gonna be pretty, even though it's low poly, still kind of high poly. <laughs> so I'm gonna decimate that a bit. Maybe go down to 0.3. Let that chug a little bit. Might completely destroy it, hopefully not. Oh yeah, that's fine. Oh, wait. What am I even applying that to? Shit. <laughs> I feel like I lose my mind when I stream. I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Dude, me too. 
Damn, it's already two. Time yeah, flies. seriously. Not edge split. Oh god. Decimate. Somebody in the chat saying Blender is not bad for 2D animation. I've heard that. I've never done it, but I've heard great things about it. I would like to try it sometime. I think, yeah, grease pencil you use for that. The greasy pencil? <laughs> greasy pencil. Yeah, that's the name of the tool. <laughs> grease pencil. <laughs> like for real, though. That's cool. Let's place some cute little tree action in here. I'm going to make this trunk a little bit thicker, a little bit longer. So the the view on the right, is that your full render view right now? Uh, no, this is just material preview. It's kind of like the video game style render. Got you. Cool. Yeah. It, it's nice for when you want to roughly see what things are going to look like, but don't want to render the whole thing. Yeah. All right, just making this tree trunk a little bit thicker. Thick boy over here. A little better. Cool. All right. Place some more of those. Alt D that all over the place. Someone's asking if I've been able to convert anybody else in the office to Blender. I have not, but probably once a day, someone is like, oh man, I should learn Blender. Once a day. Maybe eventually. Dude, you're. I can. Your freaking Discord's. Oh, it's back. Okay, it's back. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. The constant battle, dude. <laughs> but there's a lot of respect going around on the chat, so that's cool. Awesome. Constant respect. Um, Samu, thank you again for the super chat. He says, any free or not too hard on the wallet material sites you would recommend? Um, mm. Dude, um, Texture Haven. Yep. It's the HDR Haven equivalent for textures. Yep. I was going to say the same thing. Heck yeah. And it's all like PBR stuff, right? Yeah, I think so. Um, yeah, it's awesome. They also have HDRI Haven and Model Haven now. Mm -hmm. But dude, they took Model down Haven's their guns great. from Model Haven. What? Why? I don't know. God dang it. I know, they were so nice too. I don't know. All right, 15 more minutes. All right, son. We're getting there. Yep. It's all about persistence, man. You just got to stick with it. <laughs> Seriously. Like, it'd be legit to make these animated backgrounds. Oh, man. Like, 4K. Dude, yeah, I mean, that would be amazing. Dude, I just realized my angles are all off. Like, what do you mean? Everything's off by, like, two degrees so it's not lined up perfectly no. oh god but that's yeah, probably fine i think it's fine yeah because it kind of adds to the like handmade feel of this whole thing totally i 
like, yeah. Okay. I think I'm going to add a grass material here. Just uh, for the ground, so it doesn't look so... Maybe a forest ground. Nice. This one looks pretty good. Dude, Quixel is so nice. It's the freaking best. I don't know what I would do without it. All right. And just the fact that you can export it straight into Blender in C40 or whatever puts it miles ahead of any other. I know. Polygon, you can do a similar thing. It's it requires like one more step, but it's still pretty good. Yeah, I just love the ability yeah, to like because you you don't want to be like clicking through, you know, different like menu trees and everything for the rest of your life. You want to be able to just work and create, you know. Yeah, totally. And that's what Bridge does such a good job of alleviating. Um, George, mm -hmm. yo, thank you so much, man. Thanks for the super chat and thanks for joining. We'll see you next week, man. Same place. Thank same you, George. Time. Peace George out. the G. Yeah. Man, have you messed with like the Ian Hubert method where you just like projection map everything <laughs> a little bit yeah it works surprisingly well i bet man like i feel like i need to be doing that right now <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean it's just such a great way to get like instant detail because you you get those little microbiomes you know that exist in the corners of things yeah man that's that that's that's that detail that's super necessary yeah And yeah, it's just like, yeah, the detail, detail you get is like unparalleled because it's like actually from a photograph and what you lack in your modeling, you make up for and just details in a photo that look like they're modeled and they're not. It's amazing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm so close. You got this, man. Wait, dude, your scroll mouse sounds like a freaking dude, like pushing a rock across like the concrete. <laughs> 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 at least from my like from my uh how i hear you on your phone right now that's funny yeah yeah i i unlocked it so it uh doesn't do that anymore it's chill <laughs> it's just funny <laughs> all right um i'm gonna switch this out to a grass and rubble well actually grass wild boom no, that's the one Boom. I'm going to switch back to me. I'm so close <laughs> to getting this thing blocked out. I'm like, got all my window frames in, except for like this last one and one other. That's looking really good, son. Thanks, man. Oop. Perfect. 
perfect. So close. People are asking what 3D scanning app I use. On the phone, I use uh, Polycam on the iPhone to do like this quick little instant 3D scans, but for the more high quality ones, I use a DSLR with reality capture. That's definitely the best one I've found. Dude, reality capture is so cool. I got it because, I mean, well, Sam used it a lot, um, but then you, mm -hmm. when we did those scans for uh, the freaking, what is it? The video we did with... Uh, oh, yeah, the time capsule? The time capsule, yeah. That's what sold me on it. <laughs> Dude, it's so good. It's also just so fast. It's amazing. Yeah. Oh, man. All right, the last one is just this little guy right here, right in there. Let's see if I can't like copy this stuff. Nice. Cheat, cheat when you can. All right, I think it's time for some more mega scans. Mega scans on mega scans on mega scans. Yeah. Mitch is asking, how are we doing a live stream together? Dude, I don't even know, man. Like we kind of figured it out like <laughs> 15 minutes before we went live and it was pretty stressful, <laughs> but <laughs> we figured it out, dude. Um, it's like through discord and OBS and it's just craziness. Like it'll be better the next time. Yeah. Clint pulled it together. It was very impressive. Somehow. Peter can attest to how stressed out I was before we started this whole thing. He's very stressed. <laughs> Dude, I can't wait to get some lunch after this. Oh, I'm starving, yeah. Boom. All right, that feels good. And we'll just copy our lights. Sweet. All right, let's see if I can just line this up. Nice. Boom. That looks pretty freaking good. I just need to lock it up back there. It's a little. Looking great, man. Thank you. Yeah, it's just a little dark back there. So, yeah, you can go option, uncheck the check camera option, which is always confusing. But, yeah, I'll just move this stuff up and try and, like, get the wall to come forward just a little bit.
Boom, there we go. Grab this guy, push it forward. All right, that's, I mean, that's the block out basically right there. Oh, and then there's that's so nice. much more detail to do after that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Oh, oh boy is right. Um, where are you at, Peter? What's going on over here? I'm uh, nearing the final stages here. Heck yeah. Yeah, just uh, throwing in some more plants. Making it look all nice. You want to take like five more minutes? Trying to get some. Yeah, yeah, sounds good. Okay, um, I'm gonna step step away for a small break here, and then I'll be back in like. Yeah. I'll be back in like two minutes. Okay. Sounds good, son. All right. All right, y'all. I'm just grabbing these mega scan plants, throw them in, trying to make it look a little bit random. You know, nothing rotated too perfectly or scattered too uniformly randomness always helps making things feel alive i'm taking a little bit of creative liberty with my plants here because you know I don't know, I'd like to fill out the scene a little bit more. Hmm. Mega scans is nice because they give you a ton of different assets. Like for each flower, you'll get like seven different versions of the flower. But I usually end up just like duplicating three of them because you really don't need that many variations of the same thing. You can just scale it and rotate it and move it around and it looks like a different plant. Oh. <laughs> yo, yo. Yo, yo, my dude. Ooh wee, ooh wee. We're about to ooh wrap up here, right. y'all. Um, it's been a long one. We've been streaming for <gasps> how long? Three and a half hours. Crashed. Oh, Blender crashed. I hope I saved. Oh fuck. Uh, tell me I saved. Oh no, dude. <laughs> okay, I saved recently. <laughs> oh, I saved in like the last ten seconds. That's amazing. Oh man. Oh, we got a thirty dollar donation. That's so nice. Thirty euros, son. That's from, thirty uh, euros. Melanie, thank you, Melanie. It's been a long time. It's good to see you again. That's very kind. She says, uh, "Hey, Clint, this is looking great. Um, hope you and the cats are doing well." Yes, um, Teddy and uh, Gilbert are doing very well. They're chilling <laughs> right now, and. She says, what's up, Peter? Good to have you back at Corridor. Greetings from snowy Helsinki. Hey, hey, thank you. It is lovely to be back. Yeah, dude, you finally got a place down in L.A. Awesome. I know, it's so nice having a house. <sighs> um, I'm very grateful to be employed and be able to seriously. afford to have a house and stuff. Seriously, man, yeah. Absolutely. Um, I think it's time. I think it's time for <laughs> cutting me off. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do the uh, announce the weekly challenge winners, and we'll take a look Sweet. at those. Um, I'm I gotta get lunch. My knees are hurting. I've been standing up this whole time, dude. Oh, oh, you're using your standing desk? Dang. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um. All right. Can you give me a final like view of where you're at right now? Yeah. Let me. Uh. I just need to throw a quick, like ocean texture on this plane cool i'm gonna switch over to me here this is this is where i'm at i'm at like basically got my block out um i cut out 
all of the windows here. I placed all my window frames and I lit the scene and kind of made it feel a close to the image here. Definitely see a little bit more purple. You can probably change that in the white balance. In Octane, you can set it to green and it goes the opposite way. Oh, um, nice. But Dude, that's just... a great start. That's looking awesome. It's going to be a fucking sick render. Yeah, man, I'm excited. I'm like, if I can get the rain and some sound design right, mm -hmm. I could just do like an hour long video or something, like an hour loop. Yeah. You could probably even use like Embergen or something to make some volumetrics for the for the rain hitting the roof or something. Oh, dude, yes. But that might be a lot of work. Might, might be better to just comp that. That'd be sick though. Yeah. Um. So yeah, like I definitely bit off more than I could chew, as I always do, and <laughs> but it's looking cool. Like I definitely look forward to coming back to this and and working on this throughout the week, um, or maybe on the next stream. We'll see. But um, yeah. Where are you at, Peter? What you got? Um, yeah, hold on. Let me freaking add this ocean super quick. Just a quick ocean, no big deal. <laughs> so what are you doing? Are you doing a uh, deform? Yeah, so Blender has a little ocean modifier, which is awesome. It just gives you waves and stuff. Good God. Okay, this ocean needs to chill the heck out. <laughs> Okay, ocean, scale down. Okay, boom. Then let's make that just metallic. Turn the roughness all the way down. And then nice. It looks yeah, like a looks normal map. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Okay. Waves, scale. Oh, that's awesome. I wish C4D had something like that. They have Hot 4D, which is Houdini ocean something. or Yeah, it's basically Houdini's like ocean thing, but for Cinema 4D, and it's a little janky, and it's not really supported in to like the current versions of C4D, which sucks. Mm. Dang, that's a bummer. Almost at 1,000 likes. Y'all, hit those like buttons right now, because we got to get to Heck the Heck yeah. Samu with the freaking super chat again. Thank you. Um, he's <laughs> digging it. He loves the feel of your render, Peter. Um, Aw. From the start. That's awesome. Yeah, and the tips and the start with broad lines attitude um, is super awesome. So. That's great. Yeah, man. All right, let's throw that volumetric cube back in there. And... I'm going to go ahead and hit render, see what happens on my freaking GPU. Good luck to both our computers. <laughs> yeah, hit Let's render, do... and then we'll, um, we'll, do, we'll show the winners of this thing, and then we can come back and take a look. Sweet. Let me add some super quick depth of field. Yeah, do your thing. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for all the super chats. Um, me and Peter will definitely get a nice dinner with... Uh, <laughs> With all of this stuff, thank you, thank you so much. Um, yeah, thank you everybody for tuning in and donating stuff. It's so nice. Yeah, people are so nice, dude. Seriously, and there you go, dude. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's Peter. Peter's coming back. Yeah, there he is. He's he's loading in. Um, <laughs> yeah, we see you. So. From here, basically, we're going to go into the art review. Every single week, I hold a challenge where I ask you guys to render something, create something from a prompt. Um, if you guys are part of the Discord already, the link's in the description. It's super fun. We have 7,000 members since last year, since we started this. So it's I, wow. it's so freaking cool. Yeah, it's awesome. Um, it's been really inspiring to see everyone's work. And like you guys are putting in more and more like quality work every single week and it's becoming really difficult to choose these winners so um i'm very excited to do this uh peter do you have your render rendering <laughs> yeah check it out the freaking flowers exploded <laughs> oh hold on oh they're just like bam flowers oh my goodness that's ridiculous you're frozen again too. <laughs> God damn it. 
<laughs> oh man, we got the 1,000 likes. That's great. Thank you guys. That's great. And hey, if you guys aren't subscribed already and you guys are enjoying this, subscribe. Um, why not? You know, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> Peter's YouTube is also in the description, so subscribe to Peter too. He's got a lot of good Blender tutorials, so don't miss those as well. Thanks, man. Yeah, I got some more stuff coming. It's, it's going to be a good time. Yeah. All right, so <laughs> those flowers are looking crazy. Um, yeah, okay. a little crazy. Definitely, you know, would need like another hour of work before it's Instagram worthy. For sure. But uh, this is where we are, and I'm happy with I'm happy with it. Cool. Yeah. Um, are you ready to check out some sick renders from from some people? Yeah, son. Let's do it. All right. So you got to fix your freaking video again because it's frozen. But oh, okay. <laughs> Um, on second thought though, I think it's chill because I didn't put your face on the art review quite yet, but I will. Let me throw you in here real quick. Um, let me see. Let's find out. Let me, let me add you. Boom. Scene. Bear with me y'all. I add Peter to the art review thing so we can do this together. Uh, there. Hey, there's Peter. Okay, could you possibly share your screen with me because the the YouTube feed is like way behind. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. Um, I think so. Maybe. Can I? I'm trying to just like I'm trying to stack you on. This is hilarious. <laughs> oh my goodness. I just, I'll just put you, I'll put you over here. Here we go. Bear with me, y'all. We're doing edits on the fly here. Okay, so. Dang, I'd have to share like, how's this even gonna work? How far behind is the stream from your perspective? Give me a star with my video. Oh, you're, I'm like lining you up. Yeah, like like give me a star. Oh, a star. Like with my hands right now? Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, Maybe I guess you could just like give me a thumbs up or something. There's a heart in the screen. There's some good content right here. <laughs> Did you see the heart yet? Nope. <laughs> Shoot. Okay. I don't know. Okay, there's the heart. There's uh, the heart. <laughs> all right. I'll just talk about how sick these renders are until until you see them. All right. So here we go. Um, the first just person. Just share your screen. <laughs> the first person to win the weekly challenge is Willie with this incredible render. It's the one that I showed you, the Ian Hubert style one yesterday with like the cart, the shopping cart in the middle. and the, with like Oh, dude. That one was amazing. Yeah. It's like not okay. You said that guy is 13 years old? Yeah, he's like 13. It's, it's ridiculous. That's not okay. Like, what are you doing, <laughs> dude? Um, You're dealing with some dark God, magic so or good. something. Yeah, it's insane. Like, the color. And it's all but, modeled from scratch. Yeah, it is all modeled from scratch. It's crazy. Nuts. So it looks incredible. The prompt was color. Um, So when I'm looking at these winners, I'm really trying to figure out, like, how did you mess with, uh, you know, with color theory? Do you have contrasting colors? Like I see the red and the green, which are at the opposite ends of the color spectrum, the color wheel. So that's why they are complementing each other. Um, you have tertiary colors as well, which are like you form a triangle on the color wheel and you get that. Um, mm -hmm. So the blue and the green look really nice together um, along with the red there too. And I, I super dig this. I think it's awesome. So yeah. Um, Ren was saying it looks like a scene out of Soul or something like that. Oh, um, dude, it totally does. It, it, the detail's crazy. Yeah, it's amazing. So, congrats, William. You get the challenge winner role this week on the Discord. So, keep it up. Keep the awesome renders coming, man. You do amazing, amazing stuff. All right, number two. Um, who is number two? It's going to be Jason. Um, with the image of the girl in the grass with the glasses. Uh, we got the red hair. Oh, going that here. one was great. Yeah, really, really nice. 
um, color here. Again, you got the red and the green, the opposite colors here. Your render quality is through the roof. Um, it's freaking Crazy. awesome. The skin shader is fantastic, and the lips, that's amazing. I know. I'm so, like, this is such a, a weakness for me, um, doing people. Mm. And yeah, it's this hard. Is, yeah, it is hard, dude. This is one of the best that I've seen. Like, when it comes to like just doing it in a week, obviously, there's those guys on Instagram doing like renders of old people that just look ridiculous, you know? <laughs> but this looks really nice. Yeah. Um, so Jason, congratulations. You got the challenge winner role this week on the discord server. Keep it up. Keep making awesome renders so you can hang on to it. Cause next week it might be taken from you. We'll see. We will have to see. All right. Next up. Let's see next up we got bam MDK with this awesome animation of this paint tube spitting out all different kinds of paint onto oh. this little work area. Dude. I love that one. I know. Yeah, it's so good. Should have been in the corridor simulation challenge. I know it's super satisfying. Like if it had like, you know, all the sound design and everything on it, it would just be incredible. But like the glowing uh paint is perfect <laughs> and it loops perfectly. I love how the the paint coming out of the tube, it kind of crinkles the tube a little bit. That's crazy. It does crinkle the tube and fold up. That's awesome. And that whipped cream, what the heck? Yeah. So sick. Yeah, good color um, composition here. You got the blue and the green, the army men on the opposite um, colored mats. I wonder if that's Grayscale Gorilla. It looks like they're textures. It's hard to tell, but I dig your colors. You did it in a really cool way. Um, and your render quality is through the roof. So MDK, congrats on this one. You get the challenge winner roll. And uh, yeah, keep it up. Keep up the good work. Heck yeah. All right, two more. Two more. So we got, bam, one dead duck is the second to last winner this week. Um, super sick color. I love the aqua blue and green mixed with the gold and the orange like dude i just love this color style so much like, looks Ooh, really... that's lovely yeah it looks really really nice really Such nice. cute little fishies yeah seriously <laughs> <laughs> there's just so many um submissions this week guys so i really appreciate it your guys's stuff is amazing and it's been harder and harder to judge these pieces of art. And I know there's a lot of incredible ones that I hadn't touched on. Obviously we still have one more winner, but I really try and look for color. Cause that was, that was it. You know, um, you could have had a really, really awesome render, but you may have not messed with the color, you know, in a way that, that felt like, you know, it was a color challenge. I want to look at it and know like, Oh, the, I want to say the color is awesome. First and foremost versus the render being awesome. First and foremost, um, renders always get your points, but it's all about following that prompt. So congrats, One Dead Duck. This is great. We got one more challenge winner this week, and who's it going to be? Boom. This one right here by Dave. Uh, this is freaking awesome. I love the subtle, simple colors. The render quality is great. Um, you have the opposite colors in the purple and the yellow. Um, the red and the cyan, it's it's freaking perfect. Yeah, are you are you seeing it, Peter? Oh wow, yeah, it just it just popped up. That looks amazing. Yeah, great color palette. Seriously, um, yeah, I dig this one. Really nice. Looks real. Totally photo real. Yeah, that's amazing. Exactly. So Dave, congratulations! You got the challenge winner roll into the other five of you guys, or I guess the other four. Congrats. Keep it up. Congrats, um, y'all. Yeah, before we announce the uh, this week's challenge, um, which Peter, I would love your help coming up with. Um, oh yeah, I just want to show you guys a couple um, runner-up renders that I thought were sick. So let me go ahead and let me go ahead and turn these off here, um, and then just pull up some of these. So you have these ones here, which I really dug the color in. It's like you have the gold, blue, orange, blue kind of look. Um, with the cyans, I think it looks really nice. 
Um, super, super nice renders here by these guys. There's also a hidden little Peter 42 blood <laughs> thing <laughs> there, which I thought was <laughs> super oh, fun. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a great render. Definitely. I love the slightly cartoonish style. Yeah, me too. It reminds me of Breath of the Wild. Yeah. Um, next up, let's see. Who do we got? Bam. These ones here are very, very colorful. So these ones are more vibrant. You have playing with yellows and reds and uh, like purples and stuff. You guys are doing a good job of like bouncing back and forth between these like the opposite colors on the color wheel. You're doing a really good job. And all of these renders look really nice. I think... Um, they all deserve a shout out for sure. And especially the animated one too is great. Whoa, I love that washer one. Yeah. That's sweet. Yeah, me too. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> love the light. I know, me too. Yeah, that one's super solid. Yeah. Um, and then one more chunk here. Um, boom, boom. I love blue and gold blue and yellow so much and i dug these three renders um the the one on the far right is probably my favorite because it's like abstract and like super crazy looking and the colors are just perfect uh the house against oh wow yeah isn't that crazy oh my goodness <laughs> that looks like it's from that instagram page accidental wes anderson oh i've never seen that but that sounds great oh it's great or maybe it's a subreddit. Yeah, the house against the mountain is great. And then I don't, mm -hmm. I honestly don't know what the image is on the bottom left, but I love <laughs> the colors a lot. So I thought it was worth it. Oh, is it a out. skull? Is that a skull? Maybe. Yeah, actually, I think it is. With some like banana goop coming out of it? Or like banana feathers or something? I have no idea. That's really cool either way. Yeah. Um,. So yeah, guys, congratulations to our winners. Nice. Um, shout outs. Congrats. Yeah, yeah. Good times. Ugh. What a stream, dude. Honestly. It was a long <laughs> one. <laughs> Almost four hours. Goodness. Ooh. Serious. I'm hearing people um, thinking about uh, doing Studio Ghibli as the render challenge. Did you already have one in mind? No, but that sounds great. Yeah, people are getting pumped about that. Yeah, let's do it. Um, let's just do a Ghibli render challenge. I don't think we've done that in the past. I'm trying to think. Um, I don't know if Deeran is still on here. Or I'm, I'm sure enough of you guys have done these. I don't think we've done Ghibli before, right? Because I think that would be a great render challenge. Um, that way, I, me and Peter can finish our renders <laughs> and you guys can post yours too. All right, we haven't done it. Let's do it. Studio Ghibli. Hell yeah. Uh, render challenge this week. You have one week to either recreate a Studio Ghibli scene, um, make your own style Ghibli scene. Uh, the more you can model and texture your own stuff from scratch, the better. Don't just download a scene and render it. You have till next Saturday at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, don't plagiarize. That's lame. You'll get banned and exiled forever for doing that. Um, that's super lame. No, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> um, awesome. Yeah. Well, this was super fun, man. Thanks for having me on the stream. I, let's do it again. It was a good time. Seriously, dude. Um, have, get some lunch. Get some water. <laughs> oh, I, w I will be getting both of those things right away. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. All right. Well, uh, I'll catch you later, Peter. And guys, thank awesome. you so much for doing this. Um, so, yeah, Peter, I'll see you Monday, I guess, yeah? Hell yeah. Have a great weekend, man. Yeah, you too. All right. Later, man. All right. Peace out, my dude. Peace, guys.